Pa 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 I'm I'm waiting for them to come back from closing their door. Oh, are you back? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, they can hear you. Okay. Oh my god, gross. 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 Yes, very gross. They know why. They know why. <laughs> oh, Danger non shiki life form detected. True. Yes, exactly. Hi guys, come on, on everyone. It is currently twelve oh one p.m. on April eighteenth, two thousand twenty-four. It's so nice to see you all. I'd like to to introduce a little friend to you. This is Corbin. They drew uh, all my emotes uh, together with me. We've collabed on a few little art things together. And they also drew their Ooh. reactive image. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yes, hello, hello. Um, obviously, Shiki already said I'm Corbin. Uh, pronouns are he, they, literally right there, uh, <laughs> just in case. Just in case. But, <laughs> but yeah, but I'm happy to finally be able to fuck around with you again because it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. I love, I love lurking in the streams and watching you guys flounder about like small little dogs in a daycare. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully the audio is okay. I'm pretty sure. I know my, it's my Discord audio is always ass. I'm always getting yelled at by one of our mutuals friends who's like, why can I never hear you? And I'm like, I don't no, know. No, you're fine. Like a I, we're like at the same level on my stream. I can see like the the bar going up and down. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, nice, nice. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm so excited for you to play this. <laughs> No, Corbin was not lurking near the end of my stream yesterday. Do not talk about what? that here. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? I all I saw was a tweet of Shiki saying that the the stream was ending or whatever. Or that that part didn't happen. Yeah. That's all I remember. <laughs> Yeah, let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. Um, so also, uh, you may have heard me like years ago say, "Oh, I have a friend that told me that I can't have bath time streams." <laughs> this is that was Corb. <laughs> that was me. That was Corb. <laughs> she knows why. Shiki knows why she can't have them. I explained them already. Um, <laughs> but but I do also um, because I have like a personal Twitter, not like a social media one or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, I do, I have seen that Shiki has tried to get around this rule by doing Twitter spaces and pretending that that's not the same thing. And it is the same it's thing. It's the she same got, thing! She got, yelled at, she got yelled at for that recently. I did, I did. Corb, Corb hit up my DM and they were like, I see what you've been doing. How dare you? Yes, Corb. Corb has many, many VTuber friends, um, and is very, very anti VTuber and anti VTuber fan. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know so many. I know too many fucking VTubers. It's mostly because all of my friends morphed, like Mighty Morphin Power Rangered, into VTubers one day, and I was like, "What is happening?" Literally all of us. Corb and I have been in the same friend group for about seven-ish years now, and I think so. all of us basically became VTubers. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> Everyone's a VTuber except for me. It's crazy. That's crazy. But that's also because I do not like being perceived. So you may have the single recording of me ever, of my presence. <laughs> yes, exactly. Corb specifically made this persona just for this stream because <laughs> they do not want their their personal stuff to be out there <laughs> it's true mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah so i hope you guys like this little guy this little fucked up little guy with the fucked up wings coming out of his eye because he's all fucked up yeah also uh corbin drew the thumbnail today as well Yes, yeah. I did. This is one of probably one of my favorite, like lesser known, like RPG maker horror games. Mm -hmm. um, the original came out. I won't talk about it now. But I'm gonna go on my my hyper fixation tangent. Let's go. Um, <laughs> it came out in like 2013, I believe, mm. and the original um, did not actually have an official English translation. It only had a fan translation, mm -hmm. and that was really badly done. Which I think 
is part of why it's not very popular in the West. Mm, but yeah. it's super, but it's like popular enough in Japan to actually have its own manga, a drama CD, <laughs> and like, <laughs> and like some other like stuff like that. And I was like, where was, where was I when this was happening? <laughs> why did no one tell me this was happening? Where was it's one I? of my favorites. Yeah, I didn't know it existed until you like recommended it to me like two weeks ago. And you were like, I've been playing this and it's really, really good. Yes, I was super excited when I saw that it was getting like a remake. Um, for people who don't know, aren't familiar with Forest of Drizzling Rain, you might be familiar with the uh, with the devs' other work, which is Angels of Death, and yeah. that was popular enough to get an anime. Yeah. So if you haven't seen the game, you've seen the anime. Yeah. Um, so this is the same dev. This is actually their first game before they made Angels of Death. Mm -hmm. um, again, their original game was never translated properly into English. Um, and then when they were getting a remake, I was super surprised, but I was super excited. And then I found out that nobody fucking played it. <laughs> so <laughs> upset. <laughs> yeah. Like you can look up like playthroughs of this one in particular and you'll find like, like people have played it, but like nobody of note, you know, like not to be like these people are nobodies. Who are you? Get out of here. But to wait, like nothing like that, but <laughs> But, um, but like, a lot of, like, smaller content creators have played this game. But no mm. one, like, say, Manly Badass Hero um, has played it. Which I was surprised, because he played the original, but he didn't play the remake. Really? Yeah. Mm. I was actually very, very surprised. I feel like had he played it, it would have gotten a lot more traction. Because it's been out for two years. Um, It came out, this remake came out in 2022. Oh, I'm surprised. I didn't hear about it when I was going through like my RPG horror like kind of marathon. Yeah, what I'm saying, like no one talks about it ever. It's upsetting. It's one of my favorites. It's okay, we'll change um, it. I really like <laughs> the story and stuff of this game. It's really interesting. Did mm. uh, speaking of, did we put possible trigger warnings in? Oh, I I did not see any. Can you send them to me and I can? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I think I had pinned it before. Really? Question mark. I think so. I think I. I think I had put them in the. In the, in the, in the <laughs> I, I checked morning. our. I checked our pin messages on Discord, and my address is the first pin message. That was so scary. Whoops. <laughs> address <laughs> scary. That's hilarious. Maybe we probably didn't pin it. We're probably stupid. We're probably stupid. Um, <laughs> here we go. Here it is. Uh, let me reply to it. <laughs> To be fair, majority of these trigger warnings do not actually apply till the third chapter of the game. Oh. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. maybe maybe we can wait to give these until we get to that chapter. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna pin this though for when we actually get there. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. stuff like that won't be super relevant until then. Discord is unable to pin that message. You may have hit the limit. Of There's 50 pin limits for DMs too? Yeah. Okay, what, I'm gonna delete some. Have... I'm gonna. We have. Okay. Yeah. I we have like stuff for my emotes, and like my PayPal and stuff like that because we we work together on my emotes. And... Yeah, yeah. And then my ass is constantly forgetting your information. Oh my god. <laughs> so like, please pin it. Oh my god. One of the pin messages is that Fate Stay Night Dojin. She were. I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, get rid of it, coward! No, get rid of it, coward! Google Fate Stay Night Dojinshi and just start sending her them and be like, is it this one? No! It's this one. We're starting the game. We're one? starting the game, by the way. <laughs> okay. S -s Slay. Okay. We, we, we know where we're going. We know what we're doing. Chapter one. Yippee! <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. This game is so good. I love the story of this game. I, f I like Angels of Death, but I feel like Four Sages and Lame is just like more compelling. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, I forgot to unmute it. There we go. Okay, nice. On the day I heard my parents had died, it was raining terribly hard. A traffic accident. 
I was told. Once I heard the voicemail, I rushed to the hospital. But it was too late. Uh oh, <laughs> this is sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually really sad. <laughs> it's so good. It, it might make you a little sad. Uh, it's very good, though. A small service was held in the pouring rain with just me and the funeral parlor staff. That's how my parents said they wanted it. My parents had cut ties with the rest of our family, so there was nobody else to invite. Oh, Rie! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello, oh my hello. God, hello. Hello, everyone. I hope you had a good stream. I saw that you guys were playing uh, Content Warning. Hope you had fun. Ooh, I love Content Warning. It's so fucking fun. Yeah, it looks really fun. I actually have a Content Warning collab uh, tomorrow with X Prism Girls. Ooh, that'll be fun. Mm -hmm. It's really fun. I know it's like. Uh, it's definitely, like, different than Lethal Company. I feel like Lethal Company has, quote-unquote, like, more to do. Mm -hmm. But, like, Content Warning is 100% fuck around and find out game. It's so funny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm really excited. The the clips from it I've seen have been really, really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that it lets you basically, like... You get to, like, keep the clips of the video that you make. Mm -hmm. So you actually get to, like, have that for content as if you're a creator. That's so cute. It's, <laughs> it's super cute. It's really funny. Oh, but he may thank you so so much again for the raid. I appreciate it so much. Welcome readers. We are playing the the Forest of Drizzling Rain, which is an RP RPG horror that isn't as popular as it should have been. <laughs> I'm really excited to play it. It really wasn't. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and donate five hundred dollars to Shiki Miyoshino <laughs> at YouTube.com. <laughs> You're silly. <laughs> I stood there alone in the empty funeral home, overcome by an indescribable loneliness. It was like a black hole had formed at my feet, waiting to swallow me up. <laughs> the day my parents died also happened- WHAT?! THAT'S SO SAD! <laughs> so fucked up! It gets worse. Just hold on. Don't worry. What do you mean? I'm sure we would have celebrated my acceptance to the university on the same day! What the and fuck? then it was my birthday, and then I was pregnant, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm fairly certain, judging by the present, that was in the wrecked car. <laughs> it's so funny. What the... I promise, it's really good. I promise the story is really good. <laughs> Ooh, this looks nice. It's so... Uh, the updated pixel graphics are so fucking good. When I was playing it, I was, like, losing my mind. I was, like, practically sobbing. <laughs> the lighting is, like, really nice. Don't worry, her cat probably died the next day, too. <laughs> hmm? Oh, I fell asleep. Is this, like, new art that's in, like, the bubbles, or is this, like, the older art? Um, it's, um, updated. It's definitely <sighs> updated, but it is very similar. I think all they did was, like, touch it up. Mm, gotcha. I can't stay like this. I need to get a hold of myself. Okay, I'll do some cleaning up today. Is she in her funeral attire? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whoa. That's so sad. Girl, you don't need to do it's anything so today. Your parents just died. <laughs> Bro, for real. Like, it, it doesn't get any better, by the way. <laughs> Quasi-final income tax return! Oh my god. It's, it's like, just like real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like real life. It's just like real life. Uh, I did my taxes recently. I will not throw up. <laughs> they took so much money from me. <laughs> I get you. Except I overpaid, so I'm getting money back. <laughs> Okay, that's good. Better to overpay and then them give you money back than not pay enough and then come for your throat. Yeah, finally a horror game where the IRS is the villain. <laughs> <clears throat> so true. Accident report. Cremation authorization form. That's so fucked up. And she you really should have paid them in place. March. Your taxes? Yeah, probably. It's way better to pay your taxes sooner than later, but... Who got time for that? I tried. <laughs> but it's a myth for the thrill of tax evasion. I I 
I, I talked to my accountant in February and he got, oh, he said, uh, played, not paid. He, I guess oh, okay. it's because of like the tax season thing. But I remember I, I had my taxes done like really, really like quickly last year. Like I went in and I got it all sorted out in March, right? I went in February, I got it sorted out in March. I came in early February and my accountant did not finalize anything until the day before tax day <laughs> this year. Bruh. He's been really busy. You did your part, you know? <laughs> you did your stuff. Yeah, I, I paid I paid quarterly, so I didn't need to do anything. He just needed to like calculate how much I was getting back. <laughs> okay, that's good. Yeah. Quarterly sounds hard. It's not. It's I feel like it's way easier to keep like a track of things because um, I live in a state where there's state income tax. So basically, I just save. I, I use this app called Keeper Tax, and I estimate how much I like should put away, and then I I look at like the percentage that I like send towards the income tax, and then the rest of what's left over goes to the federal. So I just like calculate oh, okay. it that way, and then by tax season, you know, I paid everything that I owed basically, and I just have to like send everything to my accountant to see what can be write-offs and whatnot. So it was a lot easier. And I apparently found out that like a lot of times people who are self-employed, um, if they don't file quarterly, eventually they may be like fined or penalized for not paying mm, it quarterly. Like audited kind of thing. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Imagine being self-employed. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah, so that's yeah, crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Rose> up. <laughs> Horrid. What is this? File full of life insurance forms. Just a little girl. You don't need to be cleaning right now. <laughs> she's one. Of, she's one of those that likes to keep themselves busy. I think. Mm, I get it. Inheritance tax declaration. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I should take the funeral clothes I borrowed from. Oh, she borrowed them from her dead mom. They're yeah. yours now. <laughs> what? Oh, photo album, but it's locked and I can't open it. Never seen an album like this before. I'll just leave it here, but I'm a little curious. All right, I'll put this on the bookshelf. It's full of books that mom and dad liked. Ooh. A small key falls out of a gap in the bookshelf. Ooh. Ooh. Also, okay, you're gonna want to save. Make your first save. And then, obviously, when you use the key, don't read the book. Don't read the book? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be your first ending. <laughs> what if I don't want to end it here? <laughs> like right off but the it's bat. Funnier. <laughs> it's funnier. Okay. Don't open it. Funnier to me. I don't know if it's gonna be funnier to everybody so else. So don't but... open it. Yeah. Okay. This game has like thirteen endings, I think. Oh. Can't be sentimental. Oh. Okay. I guess I'm going to my room. Oh, this is so cute. Wait, okay, I guess. It's 13 only nice I'm trying to remember specifically how many. I have a hundred percent of the game myself. I except for one ending. And that's because that ending requires me to play through the entire game again. Blech. Yeah, yeah, and like I want to, but I gotta like speed run it. <laughs> I'll have to live on my own from now on. I feel like this ending, girl, you won't have to live for much longer. <laughs> <laughs> All I can do is sleep, like I'm trying to pretend it didn't happen. The next day, I gave up trying to clean my parents' room. One day, when I opened the door to my parents' room, I noticed that the clock had stopped moving. But just like with that photo album, I just let it be. I don't have many memories of my childhood. That album might contain memories that are precious to me, but I don't have the courage to open it anymore. Days and months passed before I knew it. I started being able to pretend like I was all right in front of my friends and everyone else I knew. But it still feels like there's a gaping hole in my heart. 
which I've quietly locked away. Just like with that photo album, I don't have the courage to open it, and I'm not sure I ever will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! <laughs> bookmark number one! And if you go to view bookmarks, it'll oh. let you see that for them. Oh. See, and that's how many endings there are. Oh. The last two are special endings. So there's like a custom artwork for every ending. The stream's yes. over, guys. Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming, everybody. Goodbye. Thanks for coming, everyone. Yes, that's how many endings there are. The last two are special endings. One you only get by getting every ending. And then the other one you get by playing through the game a second time. Gotcha. I'm trying to get here. Yeah, they're no. leaving you. I know, it's kind of cool. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> it's not letting you leave! Okay, there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, what? Okay. Love this file. <laughs> well, the back stream. Wow. I know, but it's so close today. It's so fucking tired. That's crazy. Speaking of tired, I'm fucking my goddamn coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering when you were going to bring this up. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Speak your so, truth. So chat. I was gonna order coffee and a sandwich from Starbucks because I was like, oh yeah, like shiki day. I'm gonna treat myself and my and mama crow to to this. Yeah. And apparently, like after like an hour of it changing five different drivers, the last driver finally decided to text us and be like, oh hey, the store is closed. And we're like, none of the other five people, like four <laughs> people ahead of you could have been like, hey, yo, this shit's, shit's busted. Like, like we have none of them. <laughs> none of them. I'm like, y'all suck ass. <laughs> like, <laughs> so, so we're going to order coffee normally instead, I think. Like, we're going to go pick it up. But damn, I'm so mad. <laughs> It's the worst thing ever because I feel like the exact same thing has happened to me and only the last person was like, oh, they don't have what you ordered, by the way. Or like, they don't, like, bro, they're closed today. <laughs> you have to wait it? Like, what's happening? <laughs> there is a time, I, I was talking to Corbin about this, but there's a time where these drivers just did not want to do their job or I guess it was taking a long time because sometimes, okay, so at KFC, when you get extra crispy, it takes a little while longer for them to like fry it because they're getting it really crispy. And I yeah, had delicious. seven drivers, six canceled because they did not want to wait. I don't, and all, it wasn't even like that long of a time. Like every few minutes it was like a different driver like decided to show up it was so annoying or i guess like the drive through so, line it's so bad also speaking of the devil i think she has arrived with my coffee i'll be right back okay we will we will chat for a moment until corb comes back yeah down with the gig economy <laughs> gotta love that extra crisp it's the best it's super duper good <clears throat> It's super duper good, especially with a biscuit. Ooh, you know what's super duper yummy that I have discovered recently? Which, I I guess I've had these things separately as a kid. But you know, like, honey on a biscuit, like a hot biscuit? I can buy that with a fried chicken. That is the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> That's the most amazing thing ever. <laughs> that sounds really good. Also, yes, it is here. Thank God. Yippee! Really? <laughs> I'm so hungry. He finally have his coffee. <laughs> I finally have I have my coffee and my It's not even like the one I wanted because they don't have the cold brew at the other Starbucks apparently and I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so I got um so I got an iced coffee instead and then the breakfast sandwich. Ooh. The UK is getting Popeyes. That's interesting. <laughs> have they it's never really had popular. a Popeyes before? I guess not. I guess like It'll, they'll have like their first, but Popeyes is like super duper popular here, so I guess it's like understandable. But is the coffee extra crispy? <laughs> <laughs> uh. Damn, if it was, it would explain why it took so long, but it's not. <laughs> okay, open. The UK doesn't have a Louisiana. I don't know, it's a popular chain restaurant. They got. We got other shit there. They got Taco Bell. Y'all ain't got the bayou. Y'all ain't got the bayou in the UK. That's <laughs> a damn that shame. Y'all never seen an, an alligator before. Never seen a gator. Never had gator. Never had 
possum? <laughs> Never had possum before? I've eat, I have eaten squirrel before. Never had rattler? <laughs> you mean like a rattlesnake? Yeah. <laughs> I have eaten squirrel. It is not super good. But not super uh, good. fried alligator is really, really good. It's like, it's almost like a little, a little popcorn chicken, but it's gamier. <laughs> yeah, I feel like gator always seems like it'd be kind of good. Just like, obviously... Wild game is always gamier. Yeah. Do you think? I don't know why I'm thinking about Florida now. You ever think because they got that python problem that they ever <laughs> like eat the pythons? That's a good question. Can you Google that? Because like you can eat snake, so like why not? <laughs> can, can we do that? It'll it'll help solve the problem of the invasive species. Ooh, we've opened the photo album. It's full of old photos. Wow. Mom and Dad look so young. Also, I'll, like, move away from my mic while I eat so your chat doesn't have to listen to me masticate my food. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's a blank page. It looks like part of the album is missing. The photos from when I was young have been taken out. Ooh. Let me check the other pages. No, no, get closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that I forgot. She's been doing ASMR streams lately. So you're all freaks now. <laughs> you guys like when people whisper and whatever the fuck else. I don't remember. I don't remember what the fuck ASMR people do. The only ASMR I've ever seen is the one where it's like, your clumsy boyfriend cooks you breakfast in bed and sets the house on fire. <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> I remember watching one where this guy was just like, God, I don't even remember if he was like just laying down in bed or if he was playing an FPS game or something. But like a meteor sh like starts hitting Earth, and you, you like the aftermath this is really funny. <laughs> We're playing we're playing Valorant and then a meteor strikes the earth and we are the last survivors. <laughs> did you see Luta's most recent ASMR? I watched the I did watch it before the stream. The one oh, where no. your girlfriend shits herself. <laughs> oh my god. Luta's so fucking funny. <laughs> Holy shit. She is so funny, and now that she is indie, she is free to be Far her loose. her best, most authentic <laughs> self. Can we put Luto back on hiatus? <laughs> what time is it? It was midnight before. What time is it now? Uh oh, the clock isn't ticking. Uh oh, broken. Ooh, that I've, was... lost. <laughs> I've watched enough YouTube video shorts about fixing clocks to know how to fix this <laughs> clock. Corbin literally said, "Okay, guys, I." I need to know if this is like, if this is like, if I'm, if I'm normal or like different, but Corbin sent me a funny video about this lady making Alfredo like pasta or something like that. And, and like the video is this guy replicating it. Are all noodles the same? Do you feel like all noodles are the same? Or do you think it's important for like the noodles to be specific? Like fettuccine <laughs> Alfredo should have fettuccine noodles and not spaghetti noodles. Cause I'm, <laughs> It's important, see? It's important! <laughs> listen, listen. Technically, noodles are different. Like, sometimes the shape and the thickness affects the taste and what it tastes like and what it's made out of. You know, like, egg noodles taste different than, like, spaghetti noodles and stuff like that. However, to, <laughs> you, you care too much about it being the right noodle? <laughs> I don't care at all. I'm gonna make you mac and cheese one day, and it's gonna have fucking spaghetti noodles. And then what will you do? do? It. I'll eat it. <laughs> just a fan, just a, just a, the poor man's carbonara. You like, are I'm cruel and it. unusual. You are evil. You are fucked up and evil. <laughs> you you really never want it. So what I do, and you're gonna hate me for this, is when we have bo we have like boxes of pasta, right? Dry pasta. 
um, sometimes there's not enough pasta in one box. So I will grab pasta from another box of a different shape, of a different kind. Sometimes it's spaghetti. Sometimes it's bow tie. Sometimes it's the elbow <laughs> macaroni. And then I mix them together. <laughs> Get out of the fucked up my... and evil! I bet you don't even salt your pasta water. I don't. If <gasps> <laughs> you're disgusting to me, I thought you were better than that. No, that was your fault. I never once pretended that I was better than that. <sighs> Anyway, we're playing a game. I need spots with you, but I at least use salt. Whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Why? I don't understand the point of salting your water, other than wasting salt. You do this the day of my doggos collab. <laughs> <laughs> Unsalted noodles. Unsalted noodles? Is that that weird? Yes! To not salt your noodles? Yes! Why? What does it do? What does it add? What? Tell me, what does it add? <laughs> What kind of, what kind of like bland ass sauces are y'all using that your pasta needs to be extra flavored? Would you not salt your steak? Would you not salt your steak? Oh, I know how to make a good steak. That's different. <laughs> steak is different. Golden, steak needs to be loved and treasured. Golden, to answer and your can, question, Corbin held. would definitely mix their noodles together. They said that they would if they if they didn't have enough of them. <laughs> oh yeah, them. I would. <laughs> I bet you, oh, you steak oh, yeah, for your steak too. It's all the same. The only type of pasta I don't like mixing together because mm. it tastes different to me mm. is um, it's like those one that are like made with vegetables. They have a slightly different taste. Oh, yeah, the ones that come in like colors are like green, red, yellow ones. Yeah, I, know I don't what remember what the fuck they're called. Those taste different. And I don't well, really obviously. like mixing those in. <laughs> well, obviously, oh, yeah. they're made of fucking vegetables. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Those, those, ones, those ones taste different. But but every other pasta that's like a like a yellow normal pasta tastes about the same to me. <laughs> you are and fucked up and evil. Shapes. You are cruel and unusual. <laughs> and you belong in a room. <laughs> I am in a room. What do you mean? Let me out of here. Let me out of the cage. <laughs> and our cute, thank you so much for joining Kibble Bits. Enjoy literally everything my membership has to offer. I'm glad this pasta talk could you could bring you amongst us. And you know, do not make udon Alfredo. That's udon isn't. I, that's not the shit. That's a completely different type of thing. Kinway, thank you for being a member for 30 more months. <laughs> Listen, y'all be acting. Y'all really be acting like I'm making like I'm taking dry ramen. And making it into a carbonara like the like those white people I see in those YouTube shorts and TikTok shorts making like unholy <laughs> abominations. <laughs> they're like, okay guys, today we're going to make Vidra ramen noodle soup. And I'm sure that's delicious. It looks pretty good. But also, what the fuck? Who 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 said that was allowed? Oh my god. <laughs> like, it's just like I'm gonna put my udon noodles in my Vidra and there you go. <laughs> That, that's a struggle meal. That's people trying to gentrify struggle meals, and that's not okay. <laughs> gentrify struggle meals? <laughs> it is. It's like those people got literally, okay, so one thing that, like, low-key, it doesn't, like, really make me mad, but, like, I think it's really funny, is when you see, like, those people who have, like, the homestead aesthetic, but you know this motherfucker's rich. Like, you know this motherfucker living in, like, a, <laughs> like a two-story mansion on their own farm or some shit, and they're like, here's my homestead recipe for whatever. And they have like a solid porcelain shit, marble countertops and all this other shit. And I'm like, who are you? You're not. Get out of here. Leave this to the Amish. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I think I know exactly what account you're talking about, too. I feel yeah, like yeah, I, I love the aesthetic. It's really cute. Like, and they, they don't talk in their shorts or anything. But like, I know this bitch is rich. Like, yeah. I know she makes money. Yeah, I think I know exactly what you're talking about because they have like an estate but they have like a, like a guest house or something like that that they record all like the videos and stuff in as well. Mm -hmm. So it makes them look like they're like in a smaller like establishment or like a smaller home. And but they're like very very rich. Yeah, and I'm just like that's literally rich people like aesthetifying my ass being poor. Like that's <laughs> I gotta make my own bread and shit. Lately, I've been watching this one woman. I and she like she very specifically is like my kids were craving 
cereal, so I made some from scratch. <laughs> Have you seen any of those videos? He's like, my husband is my... an asshole. No, no, no. It's a different it. person. It's We're a different person. Mac. My kids wanted a Big Mac for, for no. dinner. But... Okay, okay. No, this was... Not this... the same person? Okay. Not the same person. This woman... I actually think that people consider her controversial because I think that they're from a specific religious, like, organization. And mm. so... but Scientology, got it. No, not Scientology. I don't remember what it's called. Um, But... Oh, God, I don't even remember. But uh, she, she like, every single TikTok, like, she does where she's cooking something, even if it's something very, very simple, like a Pop-Tart. She's like, my kids were craving Pop-Tarts today, so I made some from scratch. Like, everything is from scratch, no matter how, like, no matter how simple it is. it is. Yeah. Oh, it's, my God. It's all very, very simple. That's, that's insane. My kids wanted Arby's, but I already had the meats. <laughs> we have the meats. <laughs> We have the meats at home. <laughs> no, no, please. I just want cheap fast food. Please. I just want some McDonald's. <laughs> mother. Mother, no. Please, leave the cows alone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go lock up and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy making it difficult for myself. Real. <laughs> <laughs> Do they eat normal stuff ever? Probably not. Never. Okay, or I'm sure they do. It's just like for the content videos, <laughs> they probably get a lot of shit they normally wouldn't have. Oh, what's going on? I should clean this up tomorrow. The title theme. If you look at the stuff, you'll be real sad. I will. You should look at the stuff. Yeah, look at it. Oh my god. Don't be shy. Look at the table. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> my birthday dinner. <coughs> no. What's your problem? This game is so good. It makes you feel bad. <laughs> Girl dinner. Girl dinner. I think one of the fucked up things too is the fact that like that little casserole has like a heart on it for her, and I was like, that's fucked up. <laughs> her parents loved her. Her parents loved her. Ain't no way we went from gentrifying dinner to crying about dinner. We don't have a back door. Oh, I think you're missing. Did, you got the the one in the window in the bathroom, right? The door. Oh, there's a door in the. Hold on. Uh, oh, so um, I gotta so lock the, the windows, windows and then the front door. <laughs> ah. Yeah, during my playthrough, I only got all of them because I was clicking everything. I wanted all the flavor text. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, all the flavor checks is so it's so good. It's so sad though. And then I just like the little things she remembers about her parents. Just gotta make sure. Um yeah. is there a window over here? Okay. All locked up! Let's go to bed. <laughs> you don't wanna click on you don't want you don't want the flavor text? You don't you don't want the flavor text? <laughs> <laughs> Your model blinked her eyes one at a time. It was to my question. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <sighs> to the windows. To the walls. I was suddenly all alone because I make pasta in a really fucked up way. That's why my parents are dead because <laughs> I mix pasta and I don't salt the fucking Did pasta. You really said friendship ended with Corbin. Now Alfredo, Alfredo noodles. <laughs> my <laughs> Alfredo is my best friend. My new best friend. <laughs> I couldn't remember what was on the blank pages. My memories of my childhood have always been mysteriously hazy. <laughs> I don't know everything about myself. Except I'm a fucking freak who mixes pasta and doesn't salt my <laughs> pasta water. 
I wish that someone could have done my pasta properly so my parents would be dead. It made me buy salt in my pasta water and my parents would have left me. <laughs> if, <laughs> Dad never would have left home. If I would have milk and never came back. If I would have salted my pasta water, I would be eating my birthday dinner and celebrating with my parents. Tom, thank you so much for the super. Wait, wait, we might be able to we recover. We able to recover. Does Corbin wash his rice? Yes. Oh, thank God. Of course. Why wouldn't I wash my, my like, jasmine rice? <laughs> yeah, if, if I'm making white rice, then I wash it. But if you're making, like, Spanish rice, then it's supposed to be dirty rice. Is it really? Yes. Is that common? At least in my household. Mm. <clears throat> you can wash it. Um, but for for me, I'm also kind of lazy. So <laughs> <laughs> I see. Yeah, yeah, but but technically, it can be like dry, so you can like brown it. Mm hmm. I see. Mm -hmm. Like what is it? Kind of like how um I think in Indian cooking, when they make their rice, they actually rinse it afterwards. Mm. Like once it's cooked, they rinse it so it doesn't stick. Oh, that's interesting. And I, yeah, and that's why their rice is so deliciously spread out <laughs> single greens. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Ooh, spooky. Come now. Red text, red text, red text. Come over here. My sweet, sweet child. Come, child. I will show you how to do your pasta properly. Come fulfill your promise. Thanks, Mom. The promise that you broke in two shall be repaid with time and loss. But for now, when the right time comes, Come now, my sweet, sweet child, and give me all you have. You can never escape. Never. <laughs> Not ever. <laughs> I feel like your chat's probably gonna have a field day with the fact that this red text says come a lot. <laughs> Good. You know, <laughs> come compilation. <laughs> the clock is chiming. That is so loud on my left ear. Stop you beat it! You to it, I did. <laughs> the clock that was stopped earlier is now chiming non stop. Why? <laughs> uh -huh, you need to stop the noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, come as in uh -huh. get over here. Duh, obviously. I managed to stop it, but I think I broke it. Oh. The stone in the clock fell off. Oh, there's papers. Hmm? That looks like something fell out of the pendulum along with the stone. How'd they fit all that in there? Photo. Why is this here? Elderly man! There's something small written on the back. It looks like mom's handwriting. Kenji, me, and Shiori. There's something else written down, but it's smudged and illegible. Mom, dad, and me. Then is the other person in this photo my grandfather? Hey, yo, we got family! Yippee! <laughs> wow, a living relative. Hopefully they know how to wash their <laughs> their rice and know how to put salt in their pasta. Oh, there is a character in here who is my favorite character. And hopefully you like them when you meet them. BSL, thank you so much but... for the super. A scary game with a lot of cum. You can call it a boo <laughs> Okay, I'll see my way out. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna know exactly what character it is. I feel like you were very easy to read with your favorites. Yeah. When I, again, I loved him from like the original game. Mm -hmm. So when I saw him like in this again, I just like every time I saw him, I was like, "Hello, baby girl, <laughs> my <laughs> sweet, sweet love of my life." <laughs> I love him so much. I'm busy so enough real, to so true. get my grief, but once I'd reach a stopping point with the paperwork, summer had come. <laughs> <laughs> Along with the holidays. I, I miss the holidays. 
I suddenly had a break. Summer break in university drags on forever, which should have been great, but for me, it only made things more depressing. Everywhere I looked in the house was a reminder of my parents. One day, I happened to glance in the photo I found in the clock. The person in that photo was probably my grandfather. I kept staring at it, and that thought made all the loneliness I thought I'd gotten used to come crashing down on me. We are mature adults. I wanted Definitely. to see him. Or at least try. <laughs> Number 15, dead parents. <laughs> I wanted to talk to him and ask him things too. I quickly went and withdrew what little savings I had from working. I'd use my summer break to try and find the place in that photo. <laughs> and right now, I'm sitting on a train, bound for Azakawa Village. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Her design is super cute. Yeah, the art looked really. Oh, she saw. This is what I'd wear. This is like the kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, when when I when I saw. Her, I was like, that's a cheeky. Like, <laughs> she should play this game. I, have a, I feel like I have an, an outfit that looks exactly like that. It's super cute. Mm -hmm. I, I love, love her. I love the combination of like a yellow jacket or yellow shirt with like a red hair accessory. I feel like that's always so cute. Yeah, it's super cute. Also, it hasn't introduced her name yet, but her name is Shiori. Ah. Like it, it takes a, a solid little bit before she's like, oh my, by the way, I'm Shiori. You're like, okay, cool. Now I know her name. <laughs> <laughs> the music is really nice too. Mm -hmm. There's some cute flavor fun. text around here if you want to like click on stuff. Okay. Just don't go to the bus stop. <laughs> <gasps> okay. Yeah, yeah, just for the flavor text and then you can go to the bus stop. Mm. Ooh, is there a combi? Where's the bus stop? Probably right down there. <laughs> Ooh. Full of juice with weird names. Maybe it's 100% juice? <laughs> That's a lot of artificial sweetener. Ooh. You just didn't want to buy it again after that. <laughs> Trash can. Fairly empty. Okay. Ooh, festival in three days. Nice. Hey, it's just cute, like, little flavor text. <laughs> this is so cute. For me, it's just so funny that she, like, buys the juice, tries it, and then you try to get her to buy another one. She's like, nah, I'm good. Wait, that's so cute. When you can't go away, she just goes, nah, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, she shakes her head. I love her. Can you run? Oh, I can. I can run. Yes. Okay. So, I guess... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Loud ass choice. <laughs> In three hours! I'll just pace myself. Yeah, also let me know if like when we get some more like character dialogue if you want me to read any of the characters. <gasps> Ooh! You can play your favorite one. <laughs> um... The thing about that is... You know, don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> well, girl, they said three hours. I think it's been longer than three hours. What? The bus isn't coming. I wonder if I can make it to the village on foot. All right, hitchhiking time. The police. A police car. I like all the characters, though. They're all really fun. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, well, the bus isn't coming. The bus? Not enough people used it, so it was decommissioned. Of course. <laughs> Were you on your way to Azakawa Village? Yeah. I see. All right. It's not safe to be all alone here, so how about I give you a ride? Oh my god, Clark! Ooh. 
I'm yeah, scared. I he's a police officer, but also, can I trust? <laughs> um, if you want to get another ending, you'll pick all pass. But if you just want to go on the game as normal, then just pick any of the other two. Okay. Are you sure? Of course. So where were you headed to? Uh, I'm looking for this place. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. This is the village archive. Huh? <laughs> archive. <laughs> it was a fairly impressive estate back accent. in the day. <laughs> but when the owner passed away, it was turned into an archive. So what brings you to a place like this? Well, a relative. <laughs> huh? Who, um... <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> it's fine. I won't pry. Well, get in then. The archive closes once it gets dark. Yippee! <laughs> Yippee! This Car one right here, officer. <laughs> You're trying to get me arrested? No. <laughs> right here, officer. That's him. He doesn't. He's the one who doesn't. Who mixes his pasta? Doesn't salt his pasta water. <laughs> Arrest him. Arrest him. Ask manager. Kill this man. <laughs> Mr. Electric, kill him! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Electric sent him to hell! <laughs> um, thank you so much for this. Don't mention it. But are you sure this is the right place? Yeah, well, it may be after hours, but the caretaker should still be here. He's strict, though, so we might not let you in. Regardless, if anything comes up, give the police station a call. I will. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> the urge to just make like the ACAB joke. A -cab. <laughs> and then just like walk away. Oh my god! <laughs> Even though he's been nothing but nice to us. <laughs> no! Oh wow. This place really is an archive. <laughs> the art is so cute! The door's open. I guess they're not closed. Casual break and entering. It's not breaking and entering if it's unlocked. Okay. Enough, Valley Girl. I've come this far, so I might as well take a look around. Here goes nothing. That was loud. That sounded like one of my alerts. It's dark. Spooky alerts. Do you ever have like spooky alerts for like your stuff to like fuck you up? <laughs> yeah, I have spooky alerts on at all times. Nice. Yeah. I have this one. It was so funny. I w when I was having my Jonathan, I had one for two thousand dollars, I think, and I suddenly got a big donation. But I was like showing off like a cover is like one of the Dono Goal things, and mm -hmm. in the middle of showing that off because it was like audio, I got that one, and it was like a straight like two minutes of like scary whispering and i was wondering when it would Ew. stop it like wouldn't stop it was so annoying <laughs> <laughs> it paid for the worst time <laughs> to donate it was fair so, it was so funny though i was like when is this gonna stop <laughs> never <sighs> the whispers are with you always now <laughs> it's like <laughs> but it was like a group of people <laughs> group of people whispering like like i think i know what kind of sound bite you're talking about mm -hmm. i'll have to play you my alerts um at some point oh yes please i would love to hear them oh right it's the same Seems as the old clock at home excuse me is anyone here um The real scary thing is that it wasn't an actual sound bite. She could just forgot her meds that day. <laughs> then why could you all hear it? <laughs> what dono amount was that again? Oh, I think it was 2,000. I'm pretty sure it was 2,000. Nice, nice. Also, you, oh, you guys cannot scare me with Shiki's alerts, by the way, because I have her stream muted. <laughs> it's too dark to make out. I can't see. Yeah, it's really dark. Yeah. This part was gross when I played it. I was like, why is it so dark in here? Looking closely, kitchen is written on here. We're all in your heads. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'm in your guys' head, too. 
Y'all should clean up in here. Oh my gosh. I can't see. It's so dark in here. Oh, okay. Oh. I, that's what I just looked at. Yeah, it's a little tricky to navigate at first. Oh. Is there anything around here that could work as a light source? No good, it's locked. Everything's... Is that a lamp? The <laughs> turn Right, off! I was like... Bro, when I first played this, I was like, and lamp, and she's like, nope. <laughs> nope. Not today. I think if you go up, there's like some bookshelves. There's a staircase and then bookshelves. It's writing, but it's too dark. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Too dark to go any further. It's too dark to make out. Shit. Oh. Yeah, there, there we go. Oh. Oh, wow, convenient. <laughs> wow, convenient. Now I can go to the locker. <laughs> if I can find my way back to the locker. Mmm, delicious coffee, my beloved. Mmm, yummy. I'm just sad it's not my cold brew, because <laughs> my cold brew would have been stronger. <laughs> no. And it's like later in the day, too. It's like, you've already given into the grog. Yeah. Oh, nice. This might make it easier. I should be able to check out the map. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save, too. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's go to... Well, actually, I can read stuff now. <laughs> Donations to the archive. An interior map of the building. Oh. So I can... Mm. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. I can see where everything is. First floor is books, second is local history, but what's the third floor? Okay. Well, now we can look around. Oh. So, so interesting. with those two doors right there, oh. it's, I think they're like bathrooms and like a laundry room. Mm -hmm. The funniest thing to me is that like they have them there and you can see into them, but you can never go into those rooms for some reason. <laughs> What? Throughout, throughout the entire game, so I'm just letting you know now in case you don't try again. I tried so many times to go in. That's funny. Burn smell? If you're going what? into my head, just don't open the door with the padlock on it. Okay, Corbin? Okay. Ooh. I got you, I got you, no worries. You can look no touchy. <laughs> you can look no touchy. Got you, I got you. Let me see this. Let me see this. Ah. Strictly prohibited. Smoking is permitted outside. I really like the music. It's very mm -hmm. creepy. I love the OST for this. There were some things about this OST, like, that I missed a little bit. From like the OG game, because mm -hmm. um, I think if I remember correctly, the OG game, um, when that voice, the red text talks to you, mm -hmm. it would have not like voice acting. It was basically just like a sound bite of like a woman speaking oh. in like Japanese, and I kind of miss that. Mm -hmm. I think what she would say was basically the equivalent of like my cute, cute child. Basically, like the same thing she says, like in the text. Eagle, child. Eagle. Yeah, yeah. I think. Anyway. I know she says like kawaii. She's like kawaii, kawaii, watashi no boy, boy, or something like that. Hmm kind of hard to tell because <laughs> I can never I can never find any other example what do you mean it's that locked off type? I just had to walk around the fucking traffic code <laughs> <laughs> she has to abide by the laws no <laughs> <laughs> 
this sign can't stop me because I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. That part's so funny though. Cause like, there's like another traffic going and she just walks around that, like on the stairs, I think. And you're just like, well, why can't I, why can I not? What about this one? <laughs> the sound of rain. See, there it is. There's the, tra there's the other traffic go. <laughs> Go down. Oh, this is where I was That's before. The first floor, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Thankfully, the layout's like pretty simple. Oh, I can go around. Oh, see, she just goes around that one. <laughs> Weird. It's so dusty. Aw. The lighting effects in this are so nice. It's locked. The lighting is really nice. What is this? Oh, it's one of those, uh, those things. <laughs> that I don't remember that one, It's that one chill dark game. <laughs> <laughs> what is it called? Night security? Night security? Yeah, no, it's like the alarm, I think. Yeah. How scary is this game? Uh, to be honest, it has more of like a, like a visual novel vibe, where it's like lots of like character interaction and dialogue, and then near the end, where it gets like, okay. Emergency exit. I am assuming that we are missing something. Oh. Motherfucker. Oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, we got some mystery with four elements. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, that's probably like the best way to describe it. An old picture book fell out. The Taking Spirit and the Guardian. Oh, yippee! Yippee! <laughs> you want me to read this? Yes. <laughs> Once upon a time, uh, there was a beautiful woman in the village. Eventually, the woman used her beauty to enthrall the men of the village and made them do bad things. Ooh. The village fell into decline while the wives and children of the men went hungry. One day, the evil woman was run out of the village and into the mountains. But, instead of ceasing her evil ways, the woman transformed into a monster. The woman, that, the woman became the taking spirit and kidnapped many children who wandered into the forest, throwing them down to hell. Even if the village men went into the forest to vanquish her, none emerged victorious. Then one day, came a light, mist-like rain. And the taking spirit suddenly came down to the village along with it. Where are my children? Where are my children? The forest doesn't have enough children. Now give me your children. At that moment, one of the villagers approached the taking spirit. Strangely, the spirit didn't attack the villager. The great villager then threw a glowing blue stone at the taking spirit. Once the taking spirit was hit, she let out a wail and returned to the forest. The villager who threw the stone begged the taking spirit not to take any more children, and she never came to the village again. The, village be the villager became known as the guardian deity and continued to protect the village. Children no longer entered the forest, and the village recovered. Yippee! Yippee! <laughs> what a creepy story. Whoa there. <laughs> what was that? The desk? Oh. Pull the drawer. <laughs> Will I die if I do? No. <laughs> I promise you won't. <laughs> I will not do anything that will get you killed. Okay, thank funny. you. <laughs> Unless it's funny! <laughs> you hate me and you want me to die. I'm kidding, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Was it a mouse? To be fair, there, there, I don't think there's anything that's like... ...can kill you until Ooh. the last third of the game. We got one so of the... So you're pretty... Again, like, everything amps up in the third chapter. <laughs> 
Nope, I already read it. The third chapter. Yeah, yeah, that's when, like, the horror elements really, like, kick it up. Okay, so now maybe I can go on one of these. Wait, oh, oh, there we go. I'm gonna save again. <laughs> Apple, how does it go from novel to spooky, scary skeletons? A little bit, yeah. Like, basically, the mystery element of it starts to pay off. Ooh. But, roll broken lamp. That's it. Oh. Can I do anything with this old broken lamp? Orbit is on the side of content, it's true. Here to add spice, to add flavor. A photo album. Will I get a key? Oh. May I see the photos? Okay. The man's name is Keichiro. The boy's name is Kenji. That's my dad's name. Now what? It's a family photo album. I don't want to look for more, but I really shouldn't. But. But what? Go cool. get back in there. <laughs> right, like, but get in there. Unfortunately, she's had enough breaking and entering for today, I guess. What? Where the fuck are we supposed to go now if nothing fell out? Oh, okay, we can check one of the files now. Ooh, ownership rides. Grandpa's name is signed at the bottom. Oh! Keichiro Kanzaki. That's my grandpa. Oh, right. That name was in the album, too. Anyway, my grandfather used to live here. So this really is my dad's hometown. I put the file back. I wish I could stay and look around more. I'll come back tomorrow and explain things to the caretaker. Okay. <laughs> oh. Sure, hope they don't help. Something shiny falls from the show. There's a necklace set with three pale blue gems on the floor. It fell from the top of that shelf, but I can't reach that high. Throw it. Call I'll me. bring it downstairs and... <laughs> They're leaving at the reception. <laughs> it's so pretty, though. How is it so shiny? Corbin, do it for the content. Also, Corbin, no shower streams. That's different. <laughs> shower and bath streams attract weirdos. <laughs> and not the kind of weirdos who are fun and will give shaky money. Oh my god. <laughs> What's going I read those kind of jokes a lot. I hope your chat doesn't mind. But I'm like, you are. You are the... <laughs> You are but a cog in the machine to feed, to feed them, the capitalist in me. <laughs> it won't open. Um, hello. Oh, I can I can beat them. Who is it? A girl's voice comes from behind the door. Uh, I came here looking for answers. You're not the caretaker. Uh, no. I'm actually looking for them. Who are you? The caretaker? Girl, I would just ask. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I love when it's just like someone asking, oh, are, are you, you're not the caretaker? Are you the caretaker? I'm like, no, girl. I don't think so. Anyway, get me out of here. What? I was hiding and got locked in. What? Then where's the care caretaker? Dunno. But I don't want to be found. Then should I call the police? <laughs> no! That's Officer Mochizuki, right? No way! He'll kill me! Then what should I do? 
key falls out of a small hole in the wall. What's this? Use it to look for the key to this room. I, swear, I fucking guess. <laughs> Office spare. Office spare key. Okay. So I guess we will go find the door for this key. Fuck you. Okay, maybe we have to go back upstairs. Mayhaps. This one I've already entered, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Then... I think it's on the first floor. First floor. I'm at him. Why are there so many door or so many locked games? Well, for this. It's because it's an archive, so the caretaker goes up and locks every room afterwards at night. So technically, there's a story reason in this one. <laughs> in other games, though, who knows? Who knows? Is this the exit to the, to the building? It is. Okay. Yeah. Then I need to find... Over the supposed I think you look at the map again. That's oh. the kitchen. How do I open the map again? Um, no. Oh, the 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 one that's in the. Oh in the wait, I just have to go to the. the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So I need to get to the office, office. right? So I could go yeah. Up. So I think it's just up and then to the left of you. Okay. Yeah. Glad, glad she remembered to put it back. What's this? Piece of Why do you know calendar? so much about the game, may I say? Um, I have 100%ed this game before. <laughs> Just recently, actually. And I played the original when that came out. The translation was bad, but I really, I really like this game. It is an underrated, very underrated RPG Maker horror game. Shit. It wasn't very popular when it first came out, and I feel like be since the interest in RPG Horror Maker games has also gone down in recent years, probably another reason why it didn't do very well mm. for this remake. Gotcha. Also, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. You entertain okay. chat. I'll be right back. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, we, we wait for Shimki to... Thing of the yes thing of the parents. Corbin holds all the relative certification to backseat today. It's true. <laughs> That's why I'm here. But yeah, I really like this game. Um, again, it came out in like 2013 originally. And that game did not get very popular in like English speaking circles. And I think that has to do with the fact that it was never officially or properly translated. So there's like a fan translation of it which I feel like is actually kind of hard to find now, but it wasn't very good. Like, you could tell that the person who translated the original game was not a native English speaker. Um, but the game itself did well enough to get a manga. So if you guys ever want to look that up, you can. The manga is also not translated, though. Um, so the manga, and then it's got a drama CD, apparently, and a novel, and a light novel. What was it in originally? It was, um, like, the RPG horror maker like like the same thing that like all the other games made in so like Ebe um like not it wasn't wolf editor I don't think so but like same engine as like Eve and stuff like that Eve out Oni what are you supposed to do learn Japanese yes but yeah there's like fan translations of the game and of the manga but they're not very good translations of the game or the manga. Um, so this recent uh, remake that came out in 2022 is a proper English translation. Official translation. It's available on Steam if people ever want it or are interested in the other endings. Because I don't, I don't think Shiki's going to try and like 100% this game. Because that's a lot of work. <laughs> I, I've already 100% and got all bookmarks. This game is pretty old. Yeah, it's pretty old. Oh, let's wait for a moment. And Mishiki looks hella relaxed. Yeah, she went to the bathroom. She's taking a piss. 
Because then it sort of skips an ending, I agree. Yeah. So for for you guys, Shiki doesn't have to know this, but one of the endings that you can get, you can get by refusing the officer. Be like, oh, no, I don't want to ride with you. And then you walk to the archive. And then when you walk to the, back to the archive and you and the door you go to the door the storage room like we're doing right now what you do is you don't go to the door you actually just refuse to go and investigate it and then you leave and then you get arrested and then you go home <laughs> and that's another engine you can get um but for that you do have to refuse the off officer um and I didn't want her to have to do that because then you have to go back, accept his offer, and then, like, continue the game as normal. <laughs> yeah, you bring in an entry. Yeah, yeah. You actually do, like, get taken into to the police station for that, for real. Backseat Lorekeeper is on the case. Yes. I, I, again, I really like this game. I find it incredibly charming. It's a shame that it never got the notoriety as like the same as like Eve, Masao, Madfather, Witch's House. Um, it's like nowhere near as popular. And it, it's very, it's really disappointing because the story in and of itself is very good. And its sister, you know, its sister game, Angels of Death, actually did incredibly well. People loved that. It was, did well enough to get an anime. Um, so I was always really surprised that For It's a Drizzling Rain never got, like, the same. The same amount of, like, love. So I am more than happy to share, like, share this game with Shiki and with you guys. And I hope you guys like it. I feel, I again, I find the story really interesting. It's much better put together. I feel like this is, like, a technically, like, a better mystery story than Angels of Death was. But Angels of Death is like a fun romp through, like, you know, more like, a, like an action horror type of thing. <laughs> See, I like hearing about stuff people are passionate about. I'm glad. Game is turning out all right. When was it made? It was made. This one, this remake came out in uh, 2022. So about a year or two ago. Chain is more atmospheric. Yes. This one is a lot more atmospheric. It's definitely along the... So the original game had a lot more, like, gamey elements. Where, like, oh, you get chased by something or whatever. Stuff like that. It was also significantly shorter. And this one is a lot more, um... Like, a, like an interactive visual novel. Like, to be perfectly honest. Until the third act of the game. And that's when the stuff you've been learning and, like, the mystery of everything comes together to have, like, its payoff. And I really like this game a lot, too. I really enjoyed the remake because I liked the original game. But it also, the original game didn't give you a lot to work with in terms of getting to know the characters. And you actually get to interact with the characters a lot more in this one. The OG made 2013. Yes, it was. OG 2013, um, back in the day, YouTubers who played it were Manly Badass Hero, and they're like, of note, uh, was Manly Badass Hero and Cryotic, actually. Um, and Cry is actually the person that I originally learned the game about from. Also, welcome back. Thank you. We're, I'm loving on them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got, after I used the bathroom, I was like, I need to eat a snack, so I cut up an apple, and I will enjoy that. Hell yeah. We love healthy snacks. Manly Badass Heroes mentioned. I love Manly Badass Hero. He's so fun. But again, I was, like, very surprised and, like, a little disappointed that he didn't play the remake, considering he played the original back when it first came out, so. Mm. So I was like, why? Why did you not? Why, sir? Please. You're the only person who plays these games anymore. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, sir. May I have some more? Have some more. Introduce me to several cool and fun horror games and want a voice like his someday. I love Manly. He's so funny. He seems like a chill dude. Hmm. 
He was like a chill guy, loves playing like weird, obscure stuff, which is always great. Mm -hmm. It surprised me when there's an indie horror he hasn't played, to be honest. Yeah, that that's why I was like really surprised he didn't play the remake of this. He's very open to playing like a bunch of different stuff. Oh yeah, he loves playing lots of stuff. So that's why I was like super surprised he mm -hmm. didn't play this. Because like it's on Steam, it's a remake of an old game that he pl and he's played Angels of Death. He's played Angels of Death. He played the entire thing. I watched him play it. Um, and then he played the original Forest of Drizzling Rain. So him not coming back to this was really odd, especially since it's been two years. Mm -hmm. Be the I'm change like, oh, you it's been see. two years. He's not playing it. Send him an email. <laughs> <laughs> Dear manly badass hero, hello. <laughs> I am, I am but a humble a humble crow, who would like to beg you. To please, 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 and like the Mad Father remake, he the the Eve remake, he's played all those remakes. So him not playing this remake was weird. Yeah, so I was like, it was odd. it was just odd, <laughs> an odd choice. I feel like the only person of note that was like a streamer that played it, but I didn't watch play was i think so if i'm if i'm allowed to mention another streamer yeah um, um i think it was albin from oh. Yuji mm. he is the only person <laughs> in recent history of note that um played this and i only found that out when i was looking for playthroughs and i was like oh i didn't no one talked about this no one said he played this you should dm him. again <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he forgot about it. I don't know. Maybe, but uh, he's so but manly. Badass hero was so on top of like games like that. So I don't know. It was it was just like a weird little thing I noticed. And again, it's been two years. This came out in two thousand two. Did he enjoy the first one, like oh, the original? Um, I don't know actually. I actually never looked at his original. That play could though. be why. Maybe he didn't enjoy it. Maybe. Hmm. It's quite possible. The original was really rough. Like. Mm. It wasn't a proper English translation at all. The English was bad, and the grammar was bad. <laughs> I see. Always DM your Oshi. Trust me, smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Way more bullies than he comments on in the beginning of the vid. So that's not going to be a bad thing, I think. I don't know, maybe. I feel, that feels like, so I've been trying to get like other of my friends to also play Forest of Drizzling Ring because I want more people to play it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, what is, what's one more? What's one more subliminal messaging to somebody and be like, please, please, sir, I'll buy it for you, actually, even. Corbin, <laughs> I'll pay the before I could even say that I wanted to play the game, Corbin sent me the thumbnail art and I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this in two weeks. <laughs> it's true. I love making thumbnail art for games that I like, that I enjoy. Um, it's just really fun. <laughs> this is a really good apple. Oh, <laughs> oh that's good. What, um, what kind is it? I don't remember what it's called, but it's like, it has like a very vivid red and orange kind of color. It's very sweet. Oh, okay. Very I'm trying to think what kind that is. I'll take a like picture of the bag I like after. yellow apples. Mm. I feel like golden apples are my favorite. Why is that? The the yellow ones? Because they're they're like softer and sweet, but not too sweet. At least not to me. Mm -hmm. The one... <laughs> okay, so, question. Why are Red Delicious called Red Delicious when they're nasty? I hate Red Delicious. They're not... Yeah, they're not... They're red, but they're not delicious. <laughs> That's for damn sure. Like, damn, you really... You're really trying to, like, subliminal. This is false advertising. Yeah, literally, they're they they are not, they're not good. 
They used to taste Didn't good Didn't they before. used to taste good before? I actually don't know. I've mm. never liked Red Delicious. Even as a kid, they've always been kind of like... Flavorless. Mm. Like, I might as well just chew on cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so the yellow ones are my favorite, but I will also go for the ones that are like red and yellow. Mm. I don't remember which ones those are called. There's like so many fucking names. <laughs> the person who named them really liked them, I guess. But you can't even use Red Delicious in like pies. You have to use like Granny Smith for yeah. that. Yeah. Like, what eats are you? Not only are you not delicious on your own, I also can't can't put you in a pie. <laughs> like, what's the point? They're called golden delicious, usually. The gold, the yellow ones? Yeah, those ones are good. I love, I love the yellow apples. That and pears. I really like pears. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Yippee. Okay. Pretty sure Red Delicious was an intentional marketing thing. It probably was. More likely than not. Oh. They got a faintly fermented cidery flavor. Can they be used to make cider? That would be nice. Maybe. I feel like they'd make a good cider, but definitely not. They're not like a good apple on their own. They're kind of waxy. Even when you wa even when you wash them properly, they're kind of waxy. Yeah. Okay. Is that crunch you or the key? <laughs> so now we have the key, right? Yeah. Pears and apples do not taste the same. Yeah, they don't. Didn't say they did. <laughs> Just said I like them. I like apples and I like pears. Here we go. Erm. <laughs> Red Delicious had been named before Twitter was invented. If it was named today, it would be cancelled to mail it back. <laughs> False advertising. <laughs> I'm sorry, I never tasted a pear. They're so good. I love pears. I specifically like, like, the green pears. They're so good. I However, see. the pear cannot be too ripe. Because if it's too ripe, then it's squishy. And I don't like it when it's squishy. It's gotta be mm -hmm. firm. <laughs> Apparently, as long as you can't smell them, apples and onions taste pretty similar. Huh. Like, have similar mouthfeel? But onions have layers, just like ogres have layers. Thank you for that one. <laughs> oh. Except we rewatched all of Shrek, actually. All the Shrek movies. That reminds me, I saw a TikTok that was really funny that was like, if you see me watching Shrek 1 and 2, and then watching all of Maze Runner, and if I throw in some Harry Potter, check up on me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you know what? That's real. <laughs> that means you're not okay. Check up on me. <laughs> oh. You know. You're really trespassing in here. Are you crazy? <laughs> no. Girl, you're also trespassing. I'm not. I'm just looking for answers. Hmm. Cute. I love her. You're a student? Do you live around here? Yeah. So why are you hiding here? You even got locked in. Hmm. I'm just here because I want to be. Huh? I just don't want to go home or see anyone from school. That's all. So, I'm staying here. But it's so late, you should go home. You don't need to tell me. I know, okay? <laughs> Forget it. Thanks for the help, kind stranger. By the way, give me the key used to open the door. No, you're gonna lock me in here, bitch! <laughs> I, no, see no, no, it's fine. It's I see your it's game! I see your game! It's fine, it's fine. Just, just give me the key, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Why? Do you want to get in trouble? It's safer if I keep it. You're a liar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, right. You should get out of here. It's dangerous after closing. 
the caretaker's a little crazy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Salute. Crap. You make sure you get out, okay? Huh? Wait. <laughs> you just left her ass. Anything to look at? I want to make this worth my fucking while. I guess I'll leave, though. <laughs> Bro, what's wrong with that couch? It's seen some things. locked for now i've got to find a way out of here even if you get caught don't say anything about me what hey wait <laughs> a bitch okay. bye onara <laughs> can i get my necklace back <laughs> it's not your necklace it's it is now archive. i found it <laughs> it's mine finders keepers <laughs> Let me look at the map again. <laughs> Emergency exit. Oh, so true. Emergency exit. <laughs> Um, like Zoink Scoob. <laughs> Rut roll, Reggie. He's got a reward. <laughs> um. Um. No, we technically own this place. Sounds like it's all ours, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a sword? It looks like he just came out of that room. Wait, which room? That one, I think. Time to snoop. Right here? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Love snooping. Long rope is hanging down. Oh, my lord. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. There's so many things I can steal. <laughs> There's so many things I could steal and make bank off of. But it says don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. <laughs> this line can't stop me. I can't read. I came from upstairs. <laughs> Shiki kleptomaniac Miyoshino. Okay, Nitro! Have a good time at work. Thank you for coming. Oh, have a good day at work. Uh oh, they're having a standoff. Oh, shit. No, no, let go! Oh my god, he's killed her! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> the fucking red of the security light doesn't help. <laughs> There's footsteps coming closer. I love you, Shiki. I work to forfeit all earnings to the best doggo. You are so kind to me. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you have a great day and I hope you eat something yummy. <laughs> yes, good. What's that one meme where it's like, pet the doggo, love the doggo, work in all mortal possessions to the doggo? <laughs> Ooh, lasagna! <laughs> Ooh. Lasagna good. I was thinking of having also, a pasta. Also, I, I know this is Shiki's princess, but I thought that said Slay the Princess, and I was like, I love that game! <laughs> <laughs> they were They were actually talking to me about that game earlier, about like playing it. I've been considering it. Oh, about Slay the Princess? 
Yeah, yeah it's really good. Mm-mm-mm. It's long, though. It's a chonky game. I hear it is. <laughs> yeah, it's re- really good, though. You're thinking of the why do we have hands meme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yes. I think Non and Naki played Slay the Princess. So, mm. yeah. Nice, nice. I have to look into yeah, it. It's yeah, it's very good. It's very interesting. Mm. And it's all voice acted, so you don't have to do any of the reading. <laughs> Slay. Uh oh. What do I do? I don't know. Uh. You got this. Yes! The rope! What? <laughs> Is there anything else you can use? Okay, so we got a lamp and we have a rope. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. Huh, he's an idiot. <laughs> Thank god. I think they left. I need to leave now, but how? I know, there might be a phone in the office. Okay. What are you gonna do, girl? Call the police on yourself? You're the one who broke in! <laughs> to the office. That's like where we found that girl, right? Um, I think where we got the key. Oh. So, first floor? Hmm. Okay, there okay, we nice. go. Nice. Ugh. Allergies? Yeah. I mute every time I do it. <laughs> I don't want them to hear it. <laughs> the fair, phone! Fair, fair. Cordless telephone, but Ollie, there's no receiver. What? <laughs> it's just like a horror movie. Everything's against us. We're locked in. There's other room. The here. guy with the sword chasing us. Got a pile of notes. Please, please, please leave. We are closed. No entry inside or to the third floor. Please leave. We are closed. We have no- don't have anything on that. We are close tomorrow. Where's your mom? Where are you from? Ooh, mysterious. Okay, now sniff his sheets. I mean, what? Oh? <laughs> Someone's living here. Mm-hmm. My future wife. A combination log. Ooh. Did we? I... Do we have it? Do we have a paper at all in our inventory? How do I? Yeah, items. Oh, old calendar script. June twelfth. Ah, okay. Six twelve. Unless it's okay. Nice. Easy. <laughs> Basement. Basement. Oh, yeah. It's all coming together. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> this is literally how people die. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, oh, well, I guess I'll go hide in the basement. <laughs> We're saying year six. <laughs> can never save too much. Oh, yeah, you never can. I was oh. I have like I think like twenty some save files in my in my run of the game. Let's see. Because I was so scared of getting like a bad end, so I was saving like sporadically. <laughs> Basement. In the kitchen, I think, right? Cause uh, we walked kitchen. over that one thing and she was like, It sounds like it's hollow under here. Oh, wait. 
Ugh. Got this, got this. Right here. He's chasing you, he's chasing you. What? Don't tell me that. <laughs> don't, don't say that! <laughs> You're fucked up and evil. <laughs> it opened. Does that mean there's an underground path in the basement? Okay, I just have to put the rope through this hole and I can get down. Damn. What is this place? Why would this be under a library? Mary said book OST. <laughs> Yes, it is. It's the... Uh, if you guys have played E before, this is the OST oh, yeah. for... Um, <laughs> for Mary's room. It is. A rock. Big lid on top. Is it a well? I think so. It looks like it. Feels kind of familiar. This might be a dead end. I should hurry back and find an exit. We'll go to the second floor and use the rope, please. <laughs> like I'm on the third floor, I can't jump. Doesn't mm -hmm. go to the second floor. <laughs> uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Girl, why are you just standing there? I mean, you don't have anywhere else to. Man is holding on a small piece of paper. Huh? Okay. I take the paper, there's writing on it. <laughs> <laughs> We're closed. There he We're is. Closed. My male wife. <laughs> huh? Calling the police according to regulations. Go to the lobby. Wait, but... Who are you? Why do you have a sword? The sword is fake. I'm the caretaker. <laughs> My I think I see now what you mean by you wouldn't be able to speak for him. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't talk. He only writes in notes. I love him. <laughs> All right, He's I'll take the apple wife. home then. Just how many times has it been? Go home when it's closing time. I can get home by myself. Plus, I wasn't going to stay that long. I got locked in. It wasn't my fault. You're the one who's making a big deal out of nothing, Officer Mochizuki. You're a nuisance to Kotaro here, and your parents must be worried. Surely you understand that. Mm. Um... Oh, right. Kotaro, Shiori says she has some business here. And that's the first mention of her name. <laughs> <laughs> she came from pretty far away, and I escorted her from the station. But from the look of things, it seems like you haven't had time to talk. As if they could. She was too scared to even say a word. Some caretaker he is. Miyako! Though, I should have taken the time to see you off the entire way. Sorry about that. Oh no, it's nothing. I invited myself in after all. But I did find out something. Oh, I see. It all worked out then. <clears throat> Just what did you find out here? Well, the truth is that I think I'm the granddaughter of Keiichiro Kanzaki. But something's happened and I needed to make sure for myself. I can't believe it. So that's what brought you out here? To think someone from that family would be in this house again. Huh?
my wife. <laughs> Go home. Oh, yeah, it's well past closing time anyways. I talk for way too long, sorry. If I can stay somewhere close and come back tomorrow... Don't come tomorrow. Go home. Huh? I know I caused a lot of trouble today, but... 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 What? Looking to inherit the house? Hey, learn to watch what you say. What? I may be Keijido's granddaughter, but I'm not here because I want the place. It's just... Damn. He wrote it all capitals, too. <laughs> <laughs> He's yelling at us! <laughs> but I need to know more about this place no matter what. I know it's pretty selfish of me to ask for something like this. But my parents recently passed away in a car accident. I'm not really sure what to do. It's embarrassing. Living life without knowing much about yourself or your parents. For the first time, it hit me just how lonely that feels. It was then that I found a picture of this village. So, I took out all my savings from working and came here. The place in this picture is the only clue I have to go on. That's why... I have to know more. I see. Ah! <laughs> wow, so mean. You're really kicking her out? <laughs> I was just a caretaker so afraid of anyways. I love him. Besides, think about it. There's no way someone like her would actually want this shoddy building. She said so herself. So a look around wouldn't hurt. Hey, let's calm down. <laughs> also, there isn't really a place to stay around here. What? It's just a village with nothing much. No buses, stores, or hotels of any kind. There is one place the village chose in, to use in emergency situations. And that's here. Mr. Caretaker definitely knows that, so stop playing dumb. Well, it's all so sudden, even Kotaro's surprised. For now, things have been cleared up, so can we leave it at that? And there we have it. You should be fine to stay the night. It's something the village decided on, right, Kotaro? He is unpleased. <laughs> <laughs> He's not very chuffed about this. From that day, I began my stay at the archive. The caretaker here can't speak, and written notes are used in place of words. It seems that he can hear my voice, though. That night, I was given another memo from him. Do not step outside the archive. I tried asking why, but he just went back to his room. Once I get things sorted out, I think I'll leave right away. The archive doesn't just have documents, it is reminded of, it is it has reminders of my parents. With each passing memory, I can feel warmth envelop me. At the same time, however, I have some doubts. Why hadn't mom and dad brought up anything about our hometown? Why did we move away? Why did they cut ties with everyone they knew? Why does it feel like there's some secret here? Does the answer rest in this archive in Azakawa Village? Or... Or what? Bookmark, Shadow of Memories. Yippee! There you go. Chapter 1 done. Wow! That, that's actually the, the shortest one. <laughs> ah. Chapter 2. <laughs> Chapter 2. <laughs> Yeah, chapter two and chapter three are the are the chunky boys. Those are the long ones. How long are they? Um, 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 um this game took me three days co to complete. Hmm. But I also like play for longer hours. Let me and, check. We'll see average. And a hundred percent of the game. <laughs> average play time for the forest of drizzling rain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Average is they say. three hours. Yeah, if so, basically, what's going to take up most of your time is that there are little side quests. Mm. But if you just do straight story, then it probably don't take three hours. Gotcha. The side quests are really cute, though. <laughs> I see. You don't have to do them. I did all of them myself, just for personal, mm. personal fun. But gotcha. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's mm. usually what will take you, like, the longest. Understood. Yes. How far are we in now? Well, we finished chapter one, we're in chapter two. Yeah. Whoa. You got the crying lady. Oh. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Spooky. I feel like Shiki side quest never. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I never do side quests ever. I mean, they're they're really easy. To be fair, <laughs> it feels like I saw a really weird dream, huh? I can't remember what I dreamt about, even though I was just—it was just a moment ago. It's all fuzzy. Maybe I'm just tired from everything that happened yesterday. She's allergic to side quests. <laughs> True. Yeah, they're just fun, silly little things. They're not, like, necessary to the story. Mice. I guess I should go greet the caretaker. Oh my god, Pride! Pride in chat! Oh my god, hello. Pride in chat! <laughs> We're gonna go see our caretaker. Hey, Pride real? <laughs> Pride real? But hello, hello, welcome in. Hey. Wow, this is so much better now that I can see. <laughs> it's so, like, all the pixel art is so fucking cute. Like, everything's all custom, and I love it. Wow. The kimchi? Why is the why is the kitchen burnt? Good question. <laughs> Trying to find his room again. Probably in the office. This game looks really cute. It is. I like Hello, that we knocked before lingering. going in. That was nice. So funny. <laughs> Hello. Um Good morning. <laughs> Thanks for letting me stay here yesterday. Uh, and... I still want to know more about my family, so... Can I look around the archive some more? <laughs> what are you searching for? There isn't much left from the previous owners. Most of it was thrown away. Oh. But I found a photo album yesterday. If I can learn more about my parents, even just a little bit. You can look at any of the unlocked rooms. Thank you. But don't go outside of the archive. Well, guess well, what? There's I'm a lot of going outside. Oh, but I don't have food or supplies for my stay. I really didn't expect there wouldn't be a hotel here. <laughs> uh, okay. I love you, my male wife. <laughs> Thanks for that. That was awkward. <laughs> well, anyway. Um. I'm going back to the kitchen. I'm hungry. Homeboy got to run out of paper at some point? Nah. Can I not clean this shit up? My man can't fucking cook. It's my responsibility. <laughs> okay, Mochi, sleep well. 
Have a good rest of your night. Let's go. I want to see what the emergency exit is like. If we can even go up there. What is this again? Yeah, it's locked. locked. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Show me what you're made of, emergency exit. Fuck. Not a very good emergency exit if it's locked. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> false like advertising. So we'll die in a fire, got it. <laughs> okay. Let's take a look. If it'll show me the images, no! Nope. Left it to the imagination. <laughs> that is, like, my one, like, disappointment with the game is that there's, like, no new art for, like, stuff like that. <laughs> Would have been nice to see it. But at the same time, I'm also, like, they literally made, like, a whole, whole ass new pixel thing, so I understand <laughs> not doing that either. <laughs> They're like, they don't need to see it. Read the manga if you really want to. <laughs> Read the light novel. Mm, nothing in there. Okay. What about here again? Okay, that's locked. I forgot. What? My fucking bad. Wait, that's all. Okay, that's our room. That's our room. Oh, we already read this. Yeah, yeah that's when we already already read. Yes, I'll go. Down. Also, the taking spirit from the original game wasn't translated, so you just called her the Kotori Obake. Hmm. Oh, the showroom. Nice. Oh, finally lets me look at it. Nice. Hmm. Luminous stone. So this is what that necklace is made of. <laughs> so it's rare, you say? So it's worth millions? So it's worth money that I need to afford my expensive <laughs> habits. <laughs> I will eat at Ruth Chris Steakhouse every night and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, to be able to have steak every day. I'd love to have steak every day. No, you have enough plushies. Um, I don't think she has enough, actually. If I don't mistake one of her dogs for a plushie on her bed, that's not enough plushies. Lol. <laughs> if Pepper and Wiener don't blend in, what's the point? <laughs> That would be scary for them to blend in with plushies. It'd be really funny. Because <laughs> then you never know, you know? <laughs> that sounds so scary. What if I lay on my bed and I crush them? I'll let you know. <laughs> the, after their back, is, back has been fucking broken. <laughs> He's fine. He's fine. The worst feeling. Oh, Kia, look at the. Oh, oh, I was gonna say, Kia, look at the VHS tapes. Good idea. I was gonna say, the worst feeling in the world is when you accidentally step on your dog's paw. It's so true! You feel like the worst fucking person ever when you accidentally yeah. hurt an animal. <laughs> You're like, I'm the worst person ever, I'm going to hell, and I deserve to rot there and burn in the flames eternal <laughs> the rest of my life. I step on his foot and I feel like I should kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> In Minecraft, in Minecraft. I should in end Minecraft, it all. YouTube, in Minecraft. Uh, yeah. In, in Minecraft. In Fortnite. All the color of the village is completely different from the rest. In the village, the guardian is actually a man. He didn't act like a fortune a teller, shaman. but more like a shaman who prayed to the spirits of the mountain. Mm. Well, Flash even didn't care about profit. The position appears to be hereditary. Hereditary? In the past, I heard this per hereditary <laughs> horror game. <laughs> horror movie mentioned. In the past, I heard this person was had tremendous power in the village, but it seems to be only a matter of time before they become obsolete. I've even heard people from the village town hall say something like, this cult-like custom is an embarrassment. The village elders were quite angered by that. 
So someone's doing like a documentary on the on the guardians. Mm. But the person to become the guardian, customs, blah, 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 day and age, okay. Yeah, true. Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Interesting, interesting. You're in here, aren't you? What? It's locked. Where, where'd he go? <laughs> Gone out. Gone out. <laughs> well, then I will... Oh. Uh... Someone at the door? Me when someone broke into my house <laughs> or tried to break. <laughs> That's awful. If someone oh, speed it up. Ah. Damn, she's knocking all crazy. Hello. It's you. Huh? Oh, you're from yesterday. I didn't hear anything about the place being closed today. Why is it closed? <laughs> oh, I guess it really is. One second. Ah, no padlock. I can just open it. I hope it wouldn't padlock her in there. <laughs> It'd be awful. Can you imagine? Just like, goodbye. It really is you. Hi there. Hi. Hey, do you know why the archive is closed? Oh, probably because the caretaker went out. Probably? I was looking for him too, but it looks like he's gone. Huh? So he locked you in here without saying anything? The heck? It's like he's keeping you prisoner. Huh? It's true. <laughs> Ugh, he's awful. He should have told you before leaving. He's supposed You're supposed to be a guest here. Well, I'm really just causing trouble for him. Hmm. But he did give me permission to look around. Well, isn't that nice? Are you still looking? Yeah, but the rest of the rooms I want to check are locked. Then, why don't you come with me? Uh, he insisted that I don't go out, though. But you won't learn about the village by just staying in the archive, right? It's a quiet place, but also pretty boring. But I guess there's nothing in the village either. Well, I am curious about the village too. Oh, the caretaker said... Oh. He's just concerned about the forest. Huh? Just don't go in the forest. Besides, you need to listen to everything the caretaker says. He's the one being weird. You're a guest of the village. So, why should you follow his orders? <laughs> She's so bad. <laughs> it's like, we should. We should skip class. We and should break the rules. The walls. <laughs> I guess I do need food, towels, and other things for my stay. You didn't bring underwear, did you? Uh, I guess she I didn't need bring any. <laughs> She didn't even bring a chony, she didn't bring nothing. <laughs> anyway, do you know where the store is? Oh, for... okay. Fine. I'll show you the way. Thanks. No need, let's go then. Yay! The music is so <laughs> Yippee! Hey! What? Everything happened so quickly yesterday that I couldn't even get your name. Can you tell me if it's okay? Miyako. Miyako Sakuma. I see. So Mimi, huh? Don't call me that. It makes me sound like a kid. So embarrassing. Alright. Then how about Miko? No one's ever given me a nickname before. So are nicknames like normal for city people or something? Not really. I just thought it was cute. The city people are weird. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> I love them. They're really cute. Underwear is overrated. Wow. Huh? There's literally nothing here. 
Maybe, but I still think it's pretty. Isn't life in the city way more exciting? There's department stores and skinny stores and arcades and convenience stores. Crap! <laughs> I knew I should have stayed in the archive. Sorry, you're on your own from here. What the fuck? Just go straight and look for the sign at the crossroads. You'll be fine. Uh? Well, what's wrong? It's nothing. And don't tell anyone you saw me either. She's skipping Hi, <laughs> school. Huh? Oh. On oh, this fuck ass bike. <laughs> hey, you're that girl from yesterday. Sorry this is out of nowhere, but have you seen Miyako around? Huh? It seems like she's skipping school again. Oh, is that so? Right, she should be in school right now. No, I haven't. <laughs> All right. You see her, could you talk to her? She's got a lot going on, you see. So how about you? Are you headed to the village now? Yes, I was on my way to buy some things for my stay. I see. Well, since you're here, you should look around the village, too. It's a nice little village that's a lot greener and quieter than the city. Of course. It really is beautiful here. You're on your summer break, right? I know you came here for a reason. But it's also important to have some fun once in a while. So take your time and enjoy exploring the village! Thank you. Philosopher. <laughs> have some fun and take my time, huh? But now's not really the time for that. Anyway, I should hurry and get my shopping done. Damn right, you should. <laughs> the pixel art is so cute. The environments are so cute. Like the hydrangeas and everything. Yeah. It's so cute. He's very cute. Ooh. The sign of the crossroads must be this one. Ah. Okay. There's a little map of the village. Okay. I see. Mm -hmm. It's super easy once you once you've walked around a little bit. Looks like the shopping area is south of this intersection. Goodbye, old people. <laughs> There's a shady looking person in sweats right there. <laughs> you can talk to them. What's on? It's like they keep glancing over at me. Yeah, if you if you talk to all the townspeople, you get like flavor text. Flavor. What is this? Oh. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> all these people staring hard. Like, put your eyes back in your fucking skull. What is this? Out on Pajos is the police station. There's a cat. Where? Yeah. Right yeah. <laughs> oh, he looks hungry. Feed him. Oh, Stop oh, staring. Oh. Damn. Y'all motherfuckers don't know how to be subtle either about it. <laughs> like. Where is the grocery store? It was it was that area you were in where those people like mad stared at you. Oh, over here? Yeah, where you're like, oh, never mind, <laughs> and it goes back. Like they're staring like little of a simple mad hard. They're literally falling oh, cat. Yeah. Meow. Right here, I think this is the store. Are they not here? Oh, I fucking guess. There's something on the ground. There's a patient ID card on the Oh. You know, Bori, Mass Clinic, patient ID. I think the police station was near here somewhere. Okay, I guess I'm not on the station. Stop looking at me! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Hello? Oh, brother, this guy. Excuse me, did you happen to see a little <laughs> schooler around here? Uh, no, not that I recall. I uh, see. Oh, sorry to bother you. <laughs> hmm, I wonder who that was. <laughs> Maybe he's looking for Miko. Alright. Hmm, Maybe I should take the patient ID directly to the clinic. I don't know where the clinic is. I guess I have no choice. I'm nervous, but I'll have to ask. Hey! Um, excuse me? Yes. Yes, how can I help you? 
I'm looking for Kinobori Pass Clinic. Do you know where it is? <laughs> ah, yes. Kinobori Pass Clinic. Thanks for repeating it, lady. Go north up, up the crossroad and continue up the hill. I see. Thank you very much. I thought you didn't look familiar. You're not from around here, are you? Wow. Okay. Okay, I know where to go. Oh, oh I... <laughs> <laughs> Talking about babies and vessels. Oh, well, that's great to know. I'm gonna go now. Hilarious. But yeah, all, all talking to people gives you like lots of flavor text about the village. Mm. And like hints to like lore. Oh, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. I, I love this game. It's so pretty. A cow! Moo! Moo! Please moo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> Moo. You know, Bori Class Clinic. Past Clinic. Yep, this is it. Clinic looks old, but the architecture is kind of charming. A hilltop clinic like this is like something you'd see on TV. Same with the archive. It's nice to see the architecture being preserved. Old man, old man, old man. So all that muttering I heard was coming for me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I was just admiring the building. And here I thought it was some patient off their meds. Oh, no, I'm not here as a patient. Someone dropped their patient ID card, so I came to return it. Oh, now just who could have dropped it? Oh, Mrs. Umemoto again. That's just like her. Sorry for troubling you to come all the way up here just for this. Oh no, I should be the one apologizing for disturbing you out here. Well, it's no bother. I was just about to step out for a short break anyway. <laughs> Big grandpa. Oh, I haven't seen you around here, little miss. <laughs> oh, right. I've been staying at the village archive since yesterday. Is that so? The archive, huh? Quite the odd tourist you are to be wandering around the village. Oh, well, the truth is my parents grew up here. And I came here looking for anything related to them. Hmm. Let me guess, you came here because they passed away recently. How? Oh, yes, that's correct. Uh, is it really that obvious? I may look like a plain old man, but I still haven't lost my wits. I can tell if someone's gloomy by nature or if they're just feeling down. I see. <laughs> I guess I have to be more careful. Well, I should be heading back. I still need to look into my parents. So I want to check out the archive as much as I can while I'm here. She really said, damn, I'm not masking hard enough. I need to mask harder. <laughs> <laughs> Such melancholy. Wait there a moment. Here, this should be perfect for young folks like you. Yippee! The stamp rally! Oh. This is a stamp rally? It was a dumb town hall idea, but I'm glad it's finally useful. At any rate, go take a look around the village and clear your head. Uh-huh. Consider this a doctor's order. Once you've had your fill, come see me again. A stamp <laughs> rally, huh? It's true that I haven't been able to relax since the accident. I guess I'll take his advice and walk around to clear my head a bit. Okay. It's so easy to do. That thing by the cow? That's a stamp for the stamp rally. A stamp for the stamp rally. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> it's super cute. I love doing the little stamp rally. Grandma Mall. Hello. Hi, you fool. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> uh.
Mama brought me popcorn. <laughs> Yippee. Yeah. Ooh, I got rhubarb. Yeah, yeah. So you just, it'll tell you when you've collected all of them. It's another side quest. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, go. Girl, where are you going? Huh? Was that Miko just now? I'm going to. Oh, sorry, I'm going to yeah. eat all these fucking plants. That's what I was doing too. I was like, oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> Shiny things. Take me. Whoa. Pretty. Whoa. Oh, you people like fish in mini games, don't you? <laughs> I love fishing. Wow! I spent a lot of time here fishing. <laughs> <gasps> There's a kitty! Meow. Ooh, yay! Oh, hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Howdy, partner. 40 hours of fishing minigame? So true. You gotta buy it. It's little. Oh, no. Is that a dog or a kitty? <coughs> Meow. Howdy. Oh, there's a vegetable up there. Thank you. Learn how to fish. Okay. So confirm is like space bar. Gotcha. I, I would recommend the space bar for this just because it's a bigger bigger key to slap. Yeah, so can I just start here? What do I do again? So you'll go to the sign first. This one? Yeah. And if you want to fish more after this, after you finish your three tickets, um, you have to complete oh, side quests. <laughs> okay, gotcha. I will fish here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Smack that space bar if you're smacking the like button. <laughs> <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. Shaky me, Oshinu. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Don't get. Come here. Come here. No worries. They'll come. They'll come. They'll come. I know they will. <laughs> come on. Just get a little closer. Okay, BSL, thank you so much for coming. Now. Yeah, nice to meet you guys too. Have a good have a good drive home. Increase the cum counter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bitterling. Yes, yippee! You have three more tickets. I'll fish here. Well, there's one fish in this whole fucking lake that is really hard to catch. Yeah. And it took me like 15 tries. And I only, I feel like I almost broke my keyboard. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm flapping the fucking space bar so hard and so fast because I wanted this fucking fish. Japanese char. This is fun. It's really cute. It's really fun. Let's do this part now. Mm -hmm. And when you complete side quests, I think it gives you like three tickets each. Mmm. Interesting. Yeah. I 
almost caught every fish. I think there's like 18 fish. Mm. Come on, get closer. You know you want it. You know you want it. Oh, he's looking, he's looking, he's looking. Motherfucker, come back it. here. <laughs> yeah? No. This, uh, this one to the left, come on. You know you want to. <laughs> come on. Yeah? Yeah? No. Damn it. <laughs> he fucking hates me. <laughs> it's okay, he'll be back. Oh, come on. <laughs> come on! <laughs> Just a little closer. Yeah, at least thought about, about it. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Please! Damn Fuck it. you. Okay, wait, this is, this is this other one. Yeah, what if the ellipses it means it's probably gonna go away? <gasps> yes! Oh, yeah. Woo! Alright. Nice! Dark Sleeper. Okay. So you can actually, if you go to your Aquapedia in your your menu, oh. you can look at, you can read about the fish. Oh. Oh. Mm, flavor. <laughs> I see. I wish it had pictures, but it doesn't. Yeah. Oh. Okay, now I have all these fish. Play. Nice. Time to keep up my stamp rally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you actually get like, I think it's depending on how many fish you get, you actually get special dialogue with Kotaru. Oh. Which is why I went super hard on the fishing because I love him. <laughs> Your husband. I was like, I need new dialogue with him. My husband, wife, my 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 boy, wife, my my girl, husband. <laughs> I love him so much. Where the fuck are the stamps? You can look. At, I think you can look at it, and it'll tell you where the where the map's at. It was one at the shrine. It said. Where is this shrine? It's like over here. Yeah. Yeah, because I gotta go and up. Then up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, hey. Oh, oh mini popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get the chance. Uh oh. Was he our teacher? Or her teacher? Oh yeah, he's a train. Mm. I don't like the sound of a trainee teacher. I remember when I was in eighth grade, there was this student teacher. I think uh -oh. he was probably like <laughs> in his early 20s. And he was student teaching for my science teacher. And he got one of the girls in class pregnant. Yeah. Oh my god. Those are 13 year olds, man. Nasty. And then he was fired and went to jail. No. <laughs> Down in the deep south. Uh, basically, her, her parents just made him take responsibility. Oh my god. Not the sale. <laughs> they, are, they are since divorced. I, I wonder why. <laughs> Did she at least get a good grade? She dropped out of school, so... No! <laughs> I don't really like him. He's even worse than my classmates. I heard the village is his hometown, but he always has it out for me. So, don't ever tell that teacher you saw me, okay? Okay. Oh. Boink. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's I a promise, promise. okay? 
Adults always lie like that, so you better not be. Anyway, I'm gonna hide it a little longer. So, see you! Bye! Bye, girl. She's gone. So that's what it meant by the ringing sound versus the the spring sound. <laughs> oh. Pretty. There's so many cats. Yeah. Oh, 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 what did I do? Oh, 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 oh my oh. god. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> there we go. Did you accidentally F4? I think I pressed something wrong. Hmm. Get out of my way. I need what to find guys? my stamp. <laughs> Fuck you. What are these guys talking about? Maybe they have the stamp. Do you have the stamp for me? I could really use it. Summer Festival holds if you have that year. What is this, mm -hmm. Higurashi? <laughs> Our Summer Festival is small, but it's important to the village. <laughs> it's Higurashi! I mean, you know. I mean. So it's more of a middle age organization. Okay, what about over here? Oh, I have to go down the steps again. Ooh. Oh, there's more. Nice. Sacred. None may enter, so we should enter. Child eating cave. Uh, the most you, terrifying. That's great. Where's my stamp? That's awesome. Hmm. Where is the stamp? I wonder if it's not here yet. Yet. Okay, so <laughs> there's supposed to be a cat that has the stamp. It doesn't look like he's there though. Son of a bitch. Is it anywhere else in this village maybe? Mm, the one in the archive you can't get yet till you unlock one of the rooms. Mm. I, think there, I think there's one down here. Rhubarb. <laughs> oh. That road is blocked off. It does look kind of creepy down there. So we should Stamp. go. Stamp. <laughs> Stamp. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Now I'm gonna go back to that creek or whatever to get a stamp. Mm -hmm. Unless it's blocked off. Are you here? <laughs> oh, oh you! You motherfucker, come here! Stop running. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Yeah, Let's go. baby. That's what it's all about. <laughs> Got him. Got him. Oh. Oh. After I finish my fucking stamp rally, I'll go see the doctor. <laughs> I think I want to go up. Oh. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, nice. Bok, 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 bok. That's not a side quest you can do later, is eggs. Where's my stamp? Does this man have the stamp? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's... You suck! <laughs> Keep yourself safe. Yeah, now you actually have to come back tomorrow because then he'll be there again. I'm gonna go give the veggies to the lady. Wow. 
sure picked a lot. Young people sure do love food. I mean, true. Thanks for the help. Please take this. Yay! Thanks. <laughs> I agree. I should eat meat. <laughs> I'm trying to get my stamp on. <laughs> I did it. Uh, where else do we have? We did the shrine. Should we follow where Officer Mochizuki went? Uh, maybe. This is not that one. Maybe he's at the, the station. station. Yeah. No? What is this place? Do we have to talk to any more people? Probably. Yeah. Oh, actually, look, her meat is still open? Is it? Again? Or not yet? No. Damn. Okay, it's not yet. It has Maybe we have to talk to this thing. guy. Yeah. Watchmaker by trade. Oh. Hey, ladies, I saw you were being really rude earlier. So I saw that girl bonding around later. I sure must be tough, right? She's, she's already a middle schooler. I can't imagine how her parents must feel. No, not her. The other one. The one who just returned. Oh, that one. So there was really a divorce? They're gossiping! <gasps> who knows? I don't know the details, but rumor has it that his wife ran out on him. <gasps> How unfortunate. How is it? The music no, so they're gossiping. I'll talk to this guy. Oh. People are across the bridge. It wasn't even past people continued life with this place like that. Well, I guess I'm one to talk. I'm still living here too, after all. It's true. That's great. I'm getting out of here. Oh, can we talk to the cat? We have fish. We have fish for cat. Nya? Nya, 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 nya? Yes! Yes! <gasps> I'm so happy. <gasps> A fishing oh, ticket fish. is for me! Thank you, kitty. <laughs> oh. Journal hard. Do you have something for me? <gasps> there you are! Oh. What? Oh! It's just you. You're hiding here now? You can't cross the bridge into the lake on a bicycle. So, even if Officer Mochizuki finds me, I can just outrun him. That makes sense. It's quiet here, and the water is pretty, so it's a good hiding spot. You really think so? It's just a regular old fishing hole. In that case... Ooh! <gasps> no. I don't like touching the bait and getting too close to the water. What the fuck? Frosty, thank you so much for joining Kibblebits. Enjoy literally everything in my I'm membership not bonding with her! <laughs> we should have gone should swimming. swimming. I'm just looking at that sign. I'm not even fishing. Then I was looking at that sign. Thanks, girl. She's gone again. But fishing might be a good way to relax. <laughs> it's not so sad. Fuck you. Maybe I should. I'm trying fish. not to help you with the choices with her. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta let Shiki do it. I'm gonna fish again. <laughs> She's not a master baiter. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you're so close. Fuck you. 
evil, fucked up and evil, cruel and unusual. <laughs> what? Damn it. Come back. Or, or the one that's inching closer. I feel like... <laughs> I always love it. The meter for catching fish is so intense. Like <laughs> another bitterling. Okay, again. Oh <laughs> yeah, you got you got like three fish chickens. Let's fish. Can I? No, it has to be over here. Oh, wait, maybe. Can I fish over? No, it has to be. No, yeah, only the designated spots. Fuck. Yes, get closer. Oh, nice. <laughs> we get this time. A koi! Oh, a koi! Can you eat koi? I don't know. Fish. I that like are this. koi edible? Koi koi. You can eat koi? Ah! What does koi taste like? Isn't it like a goldfish? Like a carp? Anything is edible if you're brave enough? That is not how edibility works. That is not... That is not how that works. I've had this conversation with people so many times before about like what constitutes quote-unquote edible and they're like everything's edible if you if you eat it once. I'm like no 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 that's not what that means. That's not what edible means. <laughs> the dictionary definition of edible. That is not what that means. Edible means I can eat it. <laughs> No, it doesn't! Please! <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> I always have this conversation. And people always argue. We're like, no, actually. <laughs> Ooh. The pasta edible. mixer isn't it's allowed to tell me what's to edible. Be eaten. <laughs> Fit or suitable to be eaten. We have even if more it harms fish you or tickets? poisons you or hurts you in some way, it is not fit and or suitable to be eaten. <laughs> Please. I love semantics. <laughs> the posture mixer isn't allowed to tell me what's edible. Um, your mom. How about that? <laughs> your mom's fucking edible then. <laughs> 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 this spicy food hurt does that mean it's edible? It's not killing you. <laughs> you know, it quote unquote hurt, but like it's a good hurt. <laughs> it's not one that causes you actual physical harm, like chewing on glass or plastic. <laughs> Or poison mushroom. There we go. Fit to, fit to be eatable. Another bitterling. Another bitterling. Can I fish? Again? How many do I have? That cat gives you a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Which means we're both night. What's the other definition of edible then? It to be eaten is the same as the first definition, which is fit or suitable to be eaten. How many more times can I fish? Oh, damn! Oh my god! How many fishing tickets did this cat give you? 
Can I check? I have Wrong one because more. it's supposed to be Ian Kim is objective? No, I cannot. It's, an, it's objective. It's an objective fact that if <laughs> you can't eat it because it'll kill you. The guy's always said, One more time. And by oh. all means, edible means how capable the human stomach is of breaking down and absorbing nutrients from the food without ingesting anything toxic. There you go. Literally, you are still proving my point. Not everything is edible. <laughs> if it kills me, that means it was edible, but only one. That is not literally, literally, that is not what that means. <laughs> that is not what I mean. If it poisons you, it's not edible. Please! <laughs> Maybe she's around back. No. Even Fugu has edible meat? Yeah, but you only eat the edible part. You're not eating the part that's poisonous. Unless you want to be like your brain to shut down and you die a horrible, awful death. <laughs> Oh, hey. Edible means staying alive after consumption, indefinitely. Exactly, exactly. Uh, no, I haven't. Ooh! Haha! <laughs> 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 talking about marriage! Haha! <laughs> Help him! Help him! Ignore him! There are, I better hurry then! <laughs> wow, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's so funny. This old man. That old man is like so hell-bent on getting people married. It's so funny. They have like a side quest where he's trying to do that. He can help me get married. <laughs> okay, not yet. What? What else do we have to do to pass time? I'm trying to think. Mm. Are there any more? We talked to everybody? I think that, um, maybe he's at the station now? No. Okay, well, there is like a couple that I didn't talk to down where he was. Mm. I think. So yeah, let's talk to them and see back. if that helps. Yeah, see if that progresses anything. If not, then we can go to the shrine again and maybe look around. Cause I didn't talk to these people over here. Lol. I don't think I talked to the grandma, but I don't know how to get to her. Oh, I don't think we can. Damn. I think I've talked to everyone. Okay. Okay, we did... We're doing the stamp rally, and we did the maybe vegetables. Maybe if I go to the doctor again? Yeah, maybe he has something. Oh. Oh! Ah, it's you again. Why am I not surprised? If I don't keep moving, the other villagers will tell on me. Damn. Doesn't Snitches. wandering around make you stick out more? It's fine. I'm in hiding. It'll be worse if they find me. And aren't you the one who's really sticking out here? Uh, do I? It's a small village. They like to gossip. Mm, better make a good impression. You don't need to do that. Or what? Is that just how grown-ups are? <sighs> I'm so tired of hiding. Maybe the archive is open by now. Oh, she ran off. <laughs> Nico sure has a lot of energy. She is but a, a youthful one. Doctor... You got anything, Grandpa? Mm, tired of walking around, eh? Oh, I see. Well, then take a seat here, little miss. Alright. It's getting cooler, too. Perfect timing. 
Her hopes and dreams haven't been crushed yet. Oh, oh so no, they've been, wow. they've been pretty crushed. It's gorgeous. <laughs> this is Higurashi. <laughs> <laughs> As the sun sets into the mountains, its light illuminates the rice fields before me. The gentle breeze gradually cooled and the sounds of insects transitioned into night. Unconsciously, I took a deep breath and noticed the plants had a different aroma in the evening. I wonder how long has it been since I felt this way while watching a sunset like this. I just come to this village, but the scenery somehow still made my chest tighten. Walking around the whole day strangely helped to calm my nerves. Looking back ever since the funeral, I feel like I've been forcing myself to move on. Mom and Dad, I wonder how they met, how they spent their time together here. And why the two of them decided to leave the village. I realized it wasn't the feeling of unease driving me, but a desire to learn about them. I'm sure there's still so much more left here that I don't know about yet. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Grandpa Pa. Today's sunset is a, as gorgeous as ever. It really is. I think I feel a bit better now. You're riding young, but your expression was outright pitch black. Keep that up and you'll start getting wrinkles. Huh. <laughs> was it that bad? No kidding, you almost look like an old grandma from the village. Thank you. I understand how you feel coming all the way out here. But you'll only run into a wall if you keep pushing yourself. You need to have a strong heart to be ready to take in what lies ahead. A youthful smile better suits a young lass like yourself. I say the same thing to the Archive Caretaker all the time. Really? Even you must have a thing or two to say after seeing him, no? Well, he honestly is a little intimidating. That man is just impossibly stubborn, even more so than me. But his parents also left this world early on. Is that so? So even the Caretaker lost his... Even now, he keeps himself cooped up in that building and almost never leaves. I only see him for his regular checkups. And he often butts heads with Town Hall with how he manages that place. He ought to try and get other people to help him out over there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, hey. Miko. Shiori, what are you doing here? Uh, well, I was just watching the sunset over the rice fields. The sunset? That's like something old people do. Really? How about you, Miko? What's up? What do you mean, what's up? After I saw you, I went back to the archive. But Mr. Caretaker and Officer Mochizuki were just hanging around in there. I couldn't stand any longer, so I just left. Hmm? You're that little brat, Miyako. <laughs> You're in middle school already and you still haven't lost that short fuse? It's the old quack. <laughs> Miko, and Dr. Calling her a brat is... Seems about right for a quid... quid... for a kid that calls <laughs> people quacks. Shut it, old man. But <laughs> you doing some weird experiment on Shiyori. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Shiori, did you finish shopping? No. <laughs> we did not finish shopping. <laughs> uh, it's already evening. I have to go to the store. You can be quite an airhead, huh? Hold your tongue, child. That's what makes you a brat. Oh, jeez. You're annoying. <laughs> Goodbye, girl. Shiori, you should hurry up. The caretaker was super mad. I've gone and done it now. I should hurry to the store. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor, for showing me that amazing view. Seeing young folks depressed like that doesn't sit right with me. I'm fond of all this noise either, so hurry on out of here. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Grandpa. All right. Let's go to the store. 
Higurashi book? You mean cicadas? <laughs> oh, yay. I know you're gonna play um, Umineko. Are you gonna play Higurashi at some point too, or no? I'm thinking about it, because I really love both of them. Right now, I just started Umineko, like, like playing Ooh. it on stream. I'm playing it again yeah, 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 tomorrow. Yeah. I'm probably gonna stream it for like four to six hours again. <laughs> so real, so true. It's longer than the Bible, after all. <laughs> you are the second person I've heard say that. Because basically, <laughs> I was I was watching um another person's stream, and they had Michaela Laws on there, mm. the voice actress. And she's also a big fan of Umineko. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh my god, Shiki and her would get along so well. Um, <laughs> But she also said that she was like, it's longer than the Bible. Like, <laughs> and I was like, oh, I was like and then you said it. So I'm like, oh, this is an Uma Nickel fan thing. You all say this. <laughs> it is my Bible. I I read it while eating communion wafers. <laughs> Welcome. Excuse me, are you still open? Oh my, what a pretty little flower you are. Please, please come on in. Thank you. Thanks, Grandma. <laughs> Shiki serves the seagull god. I like to buy this. Oh, yes. My, what a big girl you are. Are you on an errand by yourself? Huh? Uh, yeah. Oh, my, oh, my. Here are some sweet treats. It's a special treat. Oh, thank <laughs> you very much. But it's very dangerous for a child to be out here alone, you know. Tell your parents that- oh no. Grandma, please! Okay. If you're not careful, you can get lost and be all alone. And when that happens, the forest will call for you. Then you'll never be able to return. There used to be a village guardian, you see. So even if something happened, there was hope of being saved. But now... Even the Guardian has disappeared. The prayer at the annual summer festival is just for show these days. The forest will for sure want a pretty little flower like yourself. Especially on rainy days, you mustn't go outside. It seems like this old lady sees me as a small child. Okay, thank you very much. Do be careful now. Hey, Grandma. Oh, the set is setting faster than I thought. <laughs> I guess I'll go home. That wasn't ominous and creepy whatsoever. Definitely not. Oh, there you are. You're heading back, right? I'll go with you. Huh? It's getting dark, you know. You should be heading home yourself. There's still people on their way home from clubs. Besides, it'll be hard finding the way back by yourself, right? But... It's fine. You don't need to worry about me. Not to mention, I had to run all over the place since the archive was closed. It's only fair that we sneak back in there for a bit. Huh? What, you don't want to? Fine, I'll just go there by myself. Wait, wait, if you're going, I'm coming with you. <laughs> nice. I love the ominous, scary evening music. <laughs> oh, a child. child. That little girl is all by herself? Kids aren't allowed to go near the shrine alone this late. Shiori, let's go after her. Okay. Ominous. I can't wait for the plot twist that Miyako doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> She's heading towards the child eating cave. Oh no. On that note, I'm gonna go to the bathroom again. I've been drinking a lot of okay. water. I'll be right back. You okay, entertain okay, them. Time, time. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes. <laughs> Hello again, chat. It's just you and me. How are you guys doing? Miyako's yeah, just a ghost, so real, so true. How plausible. <laughs> Very plausible, considering everyone else acknowledges her existence. Would be interesting. However, that is not what happens. 
So does the cave eat children, or is it a place designated for the eating of children? Um, I would assume that the cave eats children. Like, children go in and don't come out, you know? Why is Jiggy's going to the child eating cave to eat children? <laughs> yeah, she's just a village ghost. <laughs> Are children, are children edible if they're in the cave? Maybe it's just a cafeteria. <laughs> yeah, it's where, it's, where the, it's where the village children go to eat. But why aren't they allowed in there if they can't eat, you know? But yeah, I think it's, a, I think it's a referencing that it's a place where children go missing. Like, once they go in, they never come back out. <laughs> Humans are definitely edible, even if it's not accessible by society. I mean, I guess technically, but it, but doesn't like if you consume don't like the act of cannibalism. Aside from being like morally unacceptable uh, in modern society, um, doesn't also the continual consumption of human flesh, also known as long pork, um, doesn't that lead to brain disease? <laughs> like it actually slowly poisons your brain. Prion, yeah. From what I know, it's only if you eat the human brain. I got, I got everything though. I thought everything about human meat was like mildly toxic. <laughs> I think it only does if you eat the brain and spine. Mm -mm -mm. I thought it was like both. Like, like it'll happen almost like it's guaranteed to happen if you eat like the brain or spine but like if like con but continual consumption like Hannibal like say like Hannibal Lecter eating human flesh all the time he definitely has that like my guy's definitely all fucked up humans are also not good meat yeah they're definitely not like we don't eat healthily or well enough to be like a delicious meat you know all I know is that apparently human flesh tastes similar to pork, which is why it's called long pork. Um, so if you're ever offered long pork, do not accept it, because that is human flesh. <laughs> I have a turn. Welcome back. We're talking about cannibalism. <laughs> oh my god, that reminds me of a, like a post I saw where this person... Um, I think I've talked about this on stream, but basically they went out to like a club and... Mm -hmm they made out with someone at the club and then like later that night they had to go to the emergency room i guess that like they found something like in her saliva that was linked to the other person's saliva where it only happens if you eat like human flesh and it caused like some it kind of infection oh, thing what the fuck? yeah damn imagine making out with the cannibal she was definitely going to become dinner <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna eat a little snack before we continue. Just a little piece of you candy. You say that, but I'd eat human... I'd eat if it was somehow ethically sourced. Well, do I have a book for you called Tender is the Flesh that is about a society <laughs> where animal meat is infected and we can no longer eat animals. Therefore, we resort to turning humans into, animal, into animals and eating them like we do cows. What? Yeah, it's it's called Tender is the Flesh. <laughs> and it's literally that. It's basically like a, a dystopian society where mm. um animal flesh has become inedible. Like we cannot have it anymore. And so they basically have like a they start using humans as a substitute and they have the humans like on farms and completely like dehumanize them in order the to fuck? make them to process them and eat them. And then like a guy who works at like the human meat farm gets ends up like taking one of the the girl human cows home and then like it's like kind of morally wrong because she's not technically considered a person anymore <laughs> mm. it's really weird really fucked up book i assume also <laughs> hi not a very good book. <laughs> you, you're the whole meal shiggy thank you <laughs> <laughs> just eat veggies right just just eat tofu please god <laughs> just eat tofu Get your protein literally anywhere else. I don't know if it even exp I've never read the book myself. All I know is that summary from Wikipedia. <laughs> oh my gosh. 
All right, let's see. Why eat people when the round meal exists? What is that? Yeah. Human cows? I've seen that, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's your turn. I mean, fair, true. Here's the next part. Oh, it's a place that children are never supposed to go. Yeah, she's in Child eating she's cave? Kidding. Yeah. Oh, we can move. Mmm. Oh, God. <laughs> Choices! <laughs> Usually, nobody is allowed he inside here. Oh, this is scary. What is this place? It's not here. Not here. The stream is titled ASMR and 3DO? No, it's not. It's titled The Forest of Drizzling Rain. I think they mean the, t the hashtags. The hashtags? Yeah, hashtag 3DO, hashtag ASMR, hashtag VTuber. Oh my god. Oops. It's I... okay, we can get... We can get real close to the mic if you want. We could just whisper. Yeah, we could just, just, whisper. just talk like this. Is that what you guys want? Is that what you guys want? Do you want us to, to give you an ASMR experience? <laughs> whisper all the dialogue. I'll keep it. I think it's because um, no. I made like a bunch of my streams. Uh, like you, what, how, how I usually do my streams so that I don't have to like do all the the d description settings is um. Yeah. Uh, I just just base it off of the previous live stream and I don't even check the hashtags, so that's probably why. Oh, real so true. I mean, it's kind of similar to like how Twitch has like just a bunch of hashtags anyway. Even if that's not what you're currently doing, it's still technically <laughs> part of your content. Yeah. Um, what if I saved? <laughs> yeah. If we whisper, I'm going back to my cave. No, we need the mods, please. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't be wandering around late. Around <laughs> so late. <laughs> uh, do you know where your family is? Papa. Grandma. Your father and grandmother, <laughs> they must be worried about you. But I was told to come here. You're meeting your family here? Nobody from the village would choose to meet up here. Wow, wow, oh, that's how you know. <laughs> <laughs> and you should never listen to what that voice says. We're leaving now. Where's your home? Uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know! Oh god, now she's crying! Oh, hey, it's okay, don't cry! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't stay in this place. Miko, why do you look so pale? I'm getting Officer Mochizuki. Don't you dare let that kid out of your sight. Just pick up the kid and go. Miko was acting strange. Uh, can you tell me your name? I'll take you home to your family, okay? Ah, uh, you... <laughs> okay, how about we at least leave the shrine? Oh, thank God. Yo, why is she crying? Because she got loush. She got uh -oh. loush. It's this guy! Boo this guy! <laughs> uh, you go. I've been looking all over for you. What were you doing here? Are you Ayu's father? <laughs> I haven't seen you around before. Why are you with Ayuko? I, uh... Don't tell me. You're the one who's been dragging Ayuko around, huh? No, it's not like that. 
Well, then you'd better have some proof of that. If you're an outsider, right? Then what reason would you have to bring Ayuko to the shrine? Uh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> calm. <laughs> hey, calm down. Think about it. She's definitely suspicious. I'm not. Papa, why? Why are you angry? Please don't be angry at me, big sis. <laughs> the noise is so funny. It's so funny. Oh, Ayuko. Hey, you. This is all your fault. You're an yeah, adult, yeah, like... so you shouldn't push the blame onto others like that. Also, your child is crying, so please stop shouting. Why, you... Erk. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Popo. Officer Mochizuki, over here, hurry! Hey, what's going on here? Officer Mochizuki and Miko! Huh? Who are all these people? I hurried over here because Miyako told me there was a lost child. But you all seem a little tense. Mind explaining what's going on? It's just that this girl here was dragging around my missing Ayuko. Huh? All Shiro did was find that kid. I was with her the whole time, so don't make false accusations. Hey, there's no point arguing about this for any longer. <laughs> oh, you're from the Yokohana family, right? I see, you were looking for Ayu again. I've told you this many times, but please contact the police if your child goes missing. He will not. <laughs> he will continue to not do that. <laughs> Just let us know so we can at least help, okay? <laughs> I come back to the village and now there's so many outsiders. Hey, that's enough. <laughs> Ayuko, I'm sorry that Papa got angry. Grandma's waiting for us, so let's go home. Okay. Big sis, let's play again, okay? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. What's with that guy? He pisses me off. It's his own fault for not taking better care of his kid. Thank you for True. going get to get Officer Mochizuki, Miko. That was the son and grandchild from the Yokohata family, just now. They just recently returned to the village. But their grandchild wanders off and goes missing often. So they're always frantically looking for her. It may be the countryside, but it can still be dangerous for a small child. I keep telling them to notify us, but... You were just looking after Ayu, right? And yet he still treated you so poorly. Yeah... But I'm just glad everything turned out okay. Okay? There was nothing okay about that. Easy there. Anyhow, it's late. You should head back as well. It's dark and Kotaro looked furious. I wish I could give you a lift, but as you as you can see, I have to deal with this little one first. Huh? What do you mean, little one? She do be small. I wasn't even at the archive today, let alone after closing time. So I can go home by myself. Miko, are you sure? It's gotten quite dark already. I'll be fine by myself, so please get Miko home safely. Ugh, not you too. Ugh. <laughs> Hey, you're a university student from the city, right? Oh, well, yeah, I guess I am. Then you have one of these, right? Pager. Pager. A pager? Yeah, I do have one, actually. Okay, then take this and give it to the caretaker. It sucks that he keeps getting mad for no good reason, right? Huh? But isn't this yours? Hey, what are you two up there up to? Nothing, anyways. My parents forced me to carry one, but it's nothing but a nuisance. But I can't just throw it away either, so give it to the caretaker. It's a win-win. Alright, thanks. Feels like I missed something here. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing. Mind your business, old man. 
Hey, hey. Adults have feelings too, you know. <laughs> you don't get it, old man. They're gonna be cool like us with our pagers and Go our CD players. Go back to your retirement home. <laughs> Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm late. I had to buy food and other things for my stay. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I think he's mad. <laughs> hmm. I'm starting to get hungry. I'll borrow the kitchen and make myself something to eat. Oh, hey. <laughs> Uh, I bought some groceries, so can I cook for myself? Something what here? The, what the What is that black <laughs> charred thing on the table? <laughs> that's what that's what your male wife made. It's true. I love it so much. <laughs> it's for later. Lol. Sure, don't burn yourself. He's so cute. I mean, <laughs> Thank you, and um I actually caught a ton of fish today. So, do you want to help me eat them all? Please? I can't finish it all. Exactly how much did you catch? I caught way too many. <laughs> Can you boil water? You clearly have not watched me much because I cook all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she can cook. Whoa, that's a lot of dishes. That's a lot. <laughs> Isn't it? They barely all fit on the plate. Don't force yourself to eat them all. You'll get a stomach ache. Haha, <laughs> yeah. But I've got a strong stomach, so I'll be fine. <laughs> You're amazing. I'm glad I could cook so much fish. Maybe I can make it fancier tomorrow. I love them. Why were you so late today? Miku and I found a lost child on our way back, so... Wait, were you actually... waiting for me outside this whole time? Anyway, I'm really sorry for being out so late. If I ever go out shopping again, I'll be sure to let you know first. I love him. <laughs> oh, right. Here, this is for you. Miko wanted you to have it. It's a pager. I have one too, so this way we can get in touch easily. Now, if I'm gonna be late, I can just message you. <laughs> Aw. I love him. <laughs> I do smell good, actually. I smell wonderful. What do you mean? You guys literally know she takes baths all the time. I take baths <laughs> constantly. And I really like using stuff with like cocoa butter, shea butter. I like stuff that smells like, like cinnamon and apple and honey and all that good stuff. I actually yeah, posted she... the kind of like shampoo and stuff that I used before. Yeah, Sh Shiki is a bath bomb, girly. So. Hold on, I have a- I uploaded a picture to Twitter like three months ago of the kind of products I use, so let me find it. Hold on, I can show you guys the kind of products that I use. Oh, you leave me proof. Bots, kill that man. <laughs> Hung by the neck till dead, thank you. In Minecraft. In Minecraft. Let's see. Where is it? I found it. I found the type of scents that I use. Nice. Honestly, it's just really nice to get like nice smelling like body product. It is. It's really really nice. Here, I'll put I'll Sorry, like listen to Shiki. Shiki, tell your boss to kill that man. <laughs> Here, this is the kind of stuff that I use. So for my hair, I use whole blends. I use the Honey Treasures 
shampoo and conditioner and I also use like this kind of like s'more body wash and whipped vanilla body wash as I'm, I'm well. Say, is it like vanilla bean? Yeah. And I use Gain. Gain on your clothing. <laughs> yes. And I also, I don't really wear perfume and I don't really wear cologne, but I do have this little thing of cologne that I really like to spray on my pillow sometimes because it smells nice and manly and it's Go Black. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. So these are the kind of oh, things. Honey mustard. Got it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's what I smell like. It smells nice and manly. Yeah. It does. I like manly scents. Like colognes Same. make me happy. Yeah, it was something nice about like the more like earthy and robust, woody scents. Yeah. That, like cologne and stuff has. Yeah. Ooh, I should show you guys what kind of de deodorant I wear. Hold on. <laughs> so, I use spray on deodorant and it keeps me fresh like all day. All day. I use, uh. What is the. I know the product, but I'm trying to find the exact scent. Why is nothing cl being clicked on? There we go. They're kind of trying cigar scented perfumes and cologne. Oh, like tobacco? Tobacco is actually a nice scent. Like, it is. My perfume. dad does chewing tobacco, and it's it smells really nice. <laughs> I found it. She uses Axe body spray confirmed. I use Axe for a little bit. So I use uh, Dove Dry Spray, any perspirant deodorant, Cool Essentials. It has a little uh, cucumber on the. It's not letting me send it because it's not a PNG. Hold on, I have to find a PNG of what my deodorant looks like. Okay, take your time. This is the worst. For a little bit, yeah, for a little bit. I used it for like a short amount of time, but I don't use it anymore. Where is it? I'd rather go to like Sephora and get a uh, one there. Thank God. <laughs> Listen, I liked this at the time. But I'm also not the person who, like, drenches their clothes in Axe Body Spray. <laughs> a little bit. None of these images are PNGs. Hold on. It's kind of fun. Are they all, like, web files? Yeah. Maybe if I download up. it directly from Walmart. No, I'm gonna have to open this shit in, like, Paint and then convert it. MS Paint and then turn it into a PNG and then put it up on screen. Okay. Why does this say that this deodorant is $273? What the fuck? Damn, we're getting fancy. No, what the? <laughs> this is not real. There's no way. Uh, I took a screenshot of like. Hey, what, how... what is it like? Fucking dove deodorant held by by a celebrity? Like is that why it's so much? Why is it that is not that expensive either? Why is this so expensive here? I saw like California celebrity pick up this pick up this specific bottle of the deodorant, specific bottle. and therefore I bought it, and I am now selling it for triple the price. Here, this is what it looks like. I I cut off the bottom because it showed my uh, zip code, so it, oh, the okay, bottle gotcha. mainly looks like Why? this. <laughs> Why is it two hundred seventy three dollars? It has like a a cucumber slice on it. But it arrives on May first for free. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> but yeah, that's the kind of deodorant that I wear. It's the spray on kind. I don't know why it's that expensive when. That's so funny. Is, is that USD or is that like a different? I think it's USD. Why is it like that? Hold on. Yeah. I thought it's calculated. It's like, like that. if I look it up. That's so weird! I looked this up and it's like, from Walmart, $6.97. Dove Advance, $6.97. And then in the middle, it's like the $273 one. From the same location, That's by funny. the way. That's weird. That's so funny. Maybe you're buying, like, pallets of it? I don't think so. I don't know this what just else says 3.8 ounces. But like several 3.8 ounces. No, you know, like it's just that's... one. Pick up not available. Like you can't pick it up there. It's so Delivery weird. is also not available apparently. 
but shipping is available and it arrives on May 1st for free. It's ARS? That's so funny. Speaking of, okay, I'm gonna take a moment to rant. I'm gonna take a moment to rant about ARS bros. It's so fucking annoying. What's that? You, I actually don't know what that means. So ARS is like the Argentinian, uh, like, currency. And, oh. and it's, and they're able to like, do like big things like Akasupas and memberships and stuff because of how like small it is. It was some, some weird conversion thing. So like, like maybe if you donate it like a thousand Argentinian, like ARS, it's yeah, like $1, most, like, it's like $1. And yeah, you yeah. can still do like Akasupas and stuff like that. And it gives people a lot of attention. So a lot of people use a VPN so that they can do ARS and gift a lot of memberships and do like Akasupas for extra attention without actually paying the price that it would normally be. It's so fucking annoying and so many people, if you are not from Argentina, do not use ARS. You are so fucking pathetic. <laughs> You are so, so true. You are so funny. I think I remember pathetic. hearing about that actually. I see it all the time people where people will like gloat about like how many memberships they could give or like the Akasupas that they give. It's so fucking annoying. If you are not from Argentina, oh Tina, do not use ARS. You are so pathetic. <laughs> You are so yeah, pathetic! Yeah, that's kind of like loser behavior, but whatever, you know. Just to make yourself feel good. Lamel. Just for attention. I was wristwash. Thank you for the membership Thank for you. Nice month. <laughs> Thank you, Irish. So oh, and I'm out real. Like, bro. <laughs> like, just say you can't afford it. It's fine. Like, don't pretend, though, that you're like, whatever. Ugh. It grinds my gears. Yeah, that's interesting, though, that, like, YouTube lets you consider that an Aka, that currency in Akastupa in general. Yeah, or, like, without they can gift a ton of memberships and stuff, too. Yeah, without making it the equivalent to... Like, you are not hot shit, you are donating a dollar, at best. <laughs> so true. I think I remember seeing that a bunch of times, like, when, um other certain corpo vtubers yeah. were like first starting out and you would see that a lot yeah and it's like also if you're using that like ars through youtube that streamer is going to get like five cents i'm sorry like no. <laughs> that streamer is especially depending That's on like so how funny. you're doing it. <laughs> It's also like low key embarrassing because I can't imagine like you as a streamer thinking like, oh my god, thank you so much for, for blah 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 and blue blue blue, and then it's like ten cents. Oh, <laughs> it's all flash, no substance. Umara, thank you so much for gifting ten memberships. You're not using ARS, are you? <laughs> Talk, thank you so much for gifting ten memberships. You're not using ARS, are you? <laughs> thank you for the gifted membership. <sighs> Welcome to the Kibble Bits. <laughs> you could be a lucky recipient. <laughs> Are you? I see you with the smug emoji. I see you. Tell the truth. <laughs> Tell the truth. Jump him. Jump him. <laughs> Scuff his Jordans. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ban ARS? I, ban ARS centers? I feel like I only know one viewer that's actually like Argentine. from Argentinian. I think that's oh my God. I think that's Grinber. <laughs> so like okay. Grinber gets a pass. I don't know about anyone else. It's cause it's like you can't know exactly unless you actually do like investigation work to see like the country of origin on their YouTube account or like their Twitter or something like that. So yeah. like even if you're suspicious, it's just like in better like, I guess in better consciousness to like just thank them like you normally would. But there's yeah, always yeah. like a little suspicion. Like, um, I, I remember the other day, Luto got a ton of ARS memberships and super chats, and yeah, yeah, I was just thinking to myself like. And the way that the person was talking, I was like, I don't think this person is actually from Argentina. I <laughs> Yeah, you can like, you I... can tell. Can you do a stream where you dox chat's home country? No! <laughs> <laughs> that's no. so funny. But yeah, that's just like awful. But I don't know. Sometimes I feel like 
Like, that's, like, bad. But at least, like, at the very least, they're not, like, charging back. Yeah. I feel like the worst thing you can do to, like, a streamer is charge back. It's the worst. Like, that's why I have in um, Streamlabs. I have, like, a specific clause in my description where, like, if they try to do a chargeback through PayPal, then I can just take a, script, uh, a screenshot of my description saying, like, if you, don if you donate through Streamlabs, you agree to not charge back. So that way I win the case. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a little more work because yeah. I had um, other streamer friends who, so like, a streamer friend of mine got like a big like donation and like a bunch of like gift subs and stuff like that. And then like I think like a couple weeks later, the motherfucker charged him back. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to kill this guy. Yeah. I'm I think also I'm going to crease these Jordans. Like. <laughs> very soon, I plan to make the switch to stream elements because they have chargeback protection. So, oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna make the the change to stream elements soon. It's just that I'm really bad with change, and so it takes me a while to like update anything. So eventually, I will make the change. Yeah. It's okay. If you ever need someone to peer pressure you into doing it, I'm here for Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm here to make you feel bad about it. Don't worry, I got you. Never <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> no, mind. What was that? That's like that went to that one like. I don't know if it's a YouTube YouTube short or a TikTok or something, but where the guy's like, oh, here's how you get someone with ADHD to do something. Make it an emotional task, not a mental one. Ah. <laughs> I was like, I would ask you to go get milk, but <laughs> I, well, why even bother? <laughs> like, yeah. You just can forget, like you always do. Like, yeah. I'm just going to do that to you, and then it'll stress you out that you'll do it. I will, I will. That's actually the worst. I saw that exact same thing. That's the worst, because then I'll do it but immediately. You're not cut yeah, out for awful. it. Oh my god. It's so bad, but it's so real, so true. Like, same. Like, now it's an emotional task. An emotional task. And they have to do it. Oh, oh my god. Horrible. Don't actually do that to people, though. Please, God. It's so mean. I feel so bad. No! You're not built for it. No! No! <laughs> Oh my god. It's a wonderful motivator. It's not spite. Ah! Like, the person isn't spiteful. It's they're afraid that you'll stop being friends with them if you don't. It's the fear of disappointment. <laughs> Jishiki, come. Oh my god. He's making a joke because my least favorite thing ever is when someone, um, someone says, Tells you to calm down. Calm down. I'm like, that's my least favorite thing ever. <laughs> uh, calm down. But you're being hysterical. It's because you're a woman. <laughs> Oh, a kinky cadaver. Your female hormones are your estrogen <laughs> making you emotional. Kinky cadaver, Kate, thank you so much for the super. You know, Loki, I've super chatted a few times and then my card has said that the payment didn't go through even though YouTube said it did. I've always wondered if you guys actually get that money. I, I, w I would not know unless like, it's, well, I guess like maybe now it's, it's easier for me to tell because now I have access to all the payment stuff before because before, um, you know, when I was under a corpo, um, I, I didn't see the money first. It would go through the, it would go through YouTube's accounting and then it would go to my court phone and then they'd take their split and then they would send it back to me after like some odd months. So. Yeah, it could have been like a delayed processing thing. That's true. That's true, that's true. Cause it's gotta go through like several different, several different guys before mm -hmm. it gets cheeky. So I'm assuming it would have gone through. Otherwise it would have like, like, I think if you checked back maybe like a week or so later, I'm sure it would, you would have seen it taken out of your account. I also feel like the super itself would not show up unless it actually went through. Cause like, yeah. I don't think I'd see the super if it didn't go through. Yeah, yeah, I think it'd tell you. Guys, I'm so happy to not have to go through conversion rates anymore. It was, it's literally the worst. I feel like I've, I've talked to you about it, Corb, but um. Yeah, it was like it went to JP and then back to Ian, right? Yeah, so there was like a month where I was supposed to get $11,000, like me, I was supposed to get 11,000. And because the conversion changed so much within like two months of waiting for that payment to be processed, I only got 7K out of 11K at one point. What? It was so annoying. I lost money to people explode. that donated lost their money, basically. Yeah, that's rough. Mm-hmm. I would simply explode. Oh my god. It happens though. That's the thing that like sucks though about like conversion and stuff that like depending on how long it takes, if in that time the currency changes. Yeah. It sucks so bad. Why did it never go up for me? Why does it always go down? Yeah. And see like at the time, you know, like 
the more the more the like most money is probably gonna go to the corpo at that point and yeah because they they get the most out of it because of the conversion and I don't know it just sucks so bad and that happens so often I always had to budget based on how how the yen was I every day I check the yen and how much it dropped or how much it increased just so I can make sure that I could like pay everything like the month that I was gonna get paid it was so annoying that's rough uh, I'm glad you don't have to do that anymore. At least it goes directly yeah. the way you want it to. I'm so Unless glad. people use ARS, but... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, ARS bros! Unless you're actually from Argentina, in which, thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you very much. We appreciate your... <laughs> your support. We appreciate your authenticity. <laughs> <laughs> I have a code word for actual Argentinians. <laughs> <sighs> I'll benefit it being an indie, yeah. Yeah. It's like down, it's like, plus, it's like, it depends my person. Like, some people, if you're really good at, like, managing yourself, being indie is great. Yeah. Um, yeah. But if you have trouble with, like, that side of thing and, like, holding yourself accountable, then it can be really difficult. Yeah. I can only give USD deal with it. I, that, I heavily prefer that because that is my currency. <laughs> I do not. Yes, yes. <laughs> I heavily prefer you that did. as that is my currency, and I will get all of what you gave me. <laughs> we would like the American dollar, thank you. Uh, it was so... It was just so annoying. Ugh. Yeah, oh, I bet. Especially because, like, you know, people don't really look that it's an ARS, especially if they first started streaming, like, on YouTube. Yeah. You're not checking to see that. You're just like, oh my god, someone, do someone was kind enough to donate me a red super chat. Like, yeah. You know, and then it's like, our. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you realize, you're like, wait a minute. She's better That's at management right. than we gave her credit. I'm literally a talent manager. I... <laughs> That's my that's that's my new that is my new little side job is I do talent management. For... Yeah, Shiki Strongsu is managing other people. I'm really good at managing other people. Yeah, and that's why I manage her. I <laughs> just like I her to manager. Um... <laughs> but yeah, I I will not say which talent I manage, but I tan I manage a indie talent. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we all knew eventually you'd get a management job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's something I enjoy. It's something I enjoy yeah, doing. She really likes that type of stuff. That's also why, obviously, you guys, um, when it was under Prism Project, um, she would obviously like promote other talents and stuff like that. She loves doing that type of thing. Yeah. She, she loves supporting people. I've tried to uh, apply for some smaller corpos, but a lot of them are not looking for managers currently. So, mm. yeah. I'm trying to branch out a little bit and see what I can do. Maybe after I gain yeah, a bit yeah. more experience, I may, like, make a little post about, like, my experience and stuff like that. <laughs> Which is good, though, too, because you also have um, experience from the talent side. Yeah. That's, I feel that's like helpful too. Your, yeah, as your repertoire, I'd be like, okay, like these are things that I didn't like that my manager didn't provide me or didn't answer these questions a certain way or in a timely manner or whatever. Yeah. But so as a manager now, you're like, okay, like I can make those adjustments. Mm -hmm. Better manage and better help my talent. Yeah. I can't believe <laughs> just Doja Cat. Oh, yeah, small indie creator Doja Cat. If I was Doja Cat's manager, she would <laughs> That's so funny, fucking, um... What is it? Like, your social media manager? Mm -hmm. Is being too nice a veritable fear? I feel like there has to be a happy medium because... Obviously, you want to be nice to your talent, right? But you also have to push them because... I... You, you can't just be a friend. Even if you're managing a friend, I manage a friend. Like, you have to kind of bitch at them. Like, you you have to be like, hey, the deadline for this is coming up. You really need to get this done. Or, hey, yeah. I sent you that invoice yesterday. You really need to pay this. Did you check that invoice? Did you check that? I forwarded this to you. Um, you know, that kind of thing. You have to make sure that stuff gets done or else it's not going to get done. You can't let them think that, like just because you're their friend or you're a nice person that they can get away with whatever you have to yeah. you have to push them a bit because otherwise how are they going to grow 
You ha they have to be. Yeah, exactly. You have to push them a bit because you want to see them succeed. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, and it's not about being a jerk. It's about being firm. Yeah. There's a difference. And I'm. Because there are people who are definitely jerks, and you fucking hate them, and you don't do your job either way because they're yeah. assholes. I know my manager has had to be firm with me on some things as well. It's like, mm -hmm. it's understandable because they just want to see you succeed. They just want to yeah. see you do well in this industry. Yeah, and you can always tell there's a difference between someone who's just being like an asshole to you and someone who you know has your best interest in mind. Mm -hmm. You have that teacher element. Oh, yeah. Fair. My mom, whenever my mom and I would get into arguments, um, I always approached it in a very calm way like confrontational way and was very eloquent with my words and my mom calls that the principal personality or the principal voice because <laughs> she says it feels like she's being sent to the principal office and scolded <laughs> That's so funny. you gotta be sometimes you know yeah <laughs> I, I gotta be that way with you guys sometimes yeah i'm really bad about doing stuff for myself but i really enjoy like managing like other people it is quite nice. <laughs> it's, it's good that you find something else that you enjoy doing that's still in, like, the vein. Yeah. Under the umbrella of, like, the concentration things that you like doing, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, I'll, I basically just, like, answer inquiries and handle anything for my talent. But as soon as, like, they're pre-debut right now. But as soon as they debut, um, I will be helping with, like, data analytics and keeping track of, like, certain games and other trends that go on so that we can, like... Make sure that we stay on top of things and grow as much as possible. Shiki for president, so true. <laughs> Shiki for president. <laughs> That's my vote. <laughs> vote Shiki. Vote. 2024, I think. Is this the election year or is it next year? Mm, is it this year? It's this year. This is election <laughs> year. <laughs> what, if I, what if I exploded? What about that? <laughs> Will you signal boost them? The the talent that Maybe after they debut. Yeah, maybe after more they like debut. A, like after debut. It's probably for the better that I went for that kind of thing, probably. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And do they know if they're gonna be streaming on YouTube or on Twitch or both? I think they're gonna try multi stream. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like like certain days they'll do YouTube stuff, certain days they'll do Twitch stuff. Yeah. I think that also the like do it on both platforms at the same time because I know that's possible now. So. Oh, true. Um, does did Twitch ever get rid of that clause though? I think so. You just can't have both like stream chats on at one time. Oh, both stream chats on at the same time. That's weird. Yeah, you just can't have both. Then what's the point? <laughs> <laughs> the people are just gonna go to the Twitch one. That's favorite. She's going to establish her own court. No, I I. I cannot imagine myself being a producer. Producing is very, very hard and also so much money. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of time and effort and a lot of money you put in. Yeah. But if someone wants to start their own portfolio and hire she can be a manager for that. Yeah, I would love to help your startup. <laughs> I yeah, yeah, I've also cool. considered like, not necessarily even being like a talent manager for like a small corpo, but I'd love to be like an ambassador for a small corpo and like promote them on my, use my channel to promote them for special events and things like that. Like use, use my social media to help promote them and stuff like that. I'd love to do stuff like that as well. I'd love to be like a social media manager or just an ambassador. I like doing things like that. I like, I like trying my best to help someone grow like as much as possible. <laughs> I have so much air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I kind of hate multi streaming because it feels like at least one of the chats will get ignored. That's why I'm only sticking to YouTube. I will occasionally do Twitch, but only like if I do like any Twitch streaming, it'll just be on Twitch for that day. I think multi streaming is really hard to like make sure that both your audiences feel attended to. So I think I would just stick to like one, depending on what I'm doing. Cause I only plan to stream on Twitch, like maybe once or twice a month. Uh, and it'll be like a community type thing. Cause I like to do anime quiz yeah. game. I don't think I'd ever do like multi-stream at the same time because it feels very tedious and it'd be really hard to keep track of everything. Yeah, yeah. it is. It's real rough. 
Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't hurt to try it out if you like ever wanted to, but it's definitely it's a lot of work. It's just like I feel like it's easier just to alternate platforms. Yeah, I also uh, just okay, like, heavily prefer YouTube. YouTube or... mm-hmm. I love YouTube. It makes me so happy. I'm so glad that when I remember I tried both, because when I was like an indie bef- before Prison Project, um, I tried Twitch streaming. I didn't really like it, and then I, oh, it's. <laughs> It's, it's embarrassing, but like I changed characters and I changed and I did like full on like role play and I swapped to YouTube and it felt a lot better. I felt way more at home with YouTube Street than I did on Twitch. So I feel like it's easier to connect with people on YouTube than it is on Twitch for some reason. That's funny because I've actually found myself the opposite. Oh, that's interesting. Like. I don't know why. I think for me personally, like as a, as like a Twitch chatter, mm-hmm. <laughs> I find it like easier to like communicate with the streamer. Yeah. And feel like more easily like absorbed into the into the hive mind of the Twitch chat mm-hmm. than I have with a YouTube one. Hmm. I don't know why. I don't really know what the difference is in particular, but something about the the Twitch community for me personally as the chatter has always been it always felt easier to jump right in Mm -hmm. also i feel like there's i maybe this is just me but i i can't stand the buffering and the ads on twitch so true (laughs) i know twitch has like a new thing where you can pay like 20 bucks to have like no ads on anything and then that's not in addition to like subs and stuff. Anymore. It's always so annoying when I'm watching my friend and I have to sit through like a two minute ad or something like that and wait for it to come back in the middle of something like really no, interesting. I, <laughs> I, I hate I hate the two minute ads. They kill me every single time. Apparently okay. YouTube has something like that now too, but like you can decide at any point during the stream, like you can have them all play at the beginning or all play during no, like a B or B. I would much rather have that. Yeah. Or it plays at the very I'd end. Rather, like, get, I'd rather get like the five minutes of ads out of the way than interrupt me in the middle of my conversation. Yeah. There are a lot of YouTube streamers that like, what they'll do is they will place the ad b- during like a bathroom break so that as soon as they come back, the ads will already be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twitch kind of has, Twitch people will also kind of do that too. It's just mm. a little bit harder because I think Twitch for some reason isn't as like customizable as that. Yeah. The classic streamer like, finally beats the boss while I'm watching an ad experience. <laughs> <laughs> it's real. It's rough out there. I know it's like more of like a ploy to try and get you. It's Twitch's way of trying to get you to sub. Yeah. That way you don't get ads or and stuff <laughs> like that, which like sucks because it's kind of scummy. Mm-hmm. But it's like, please give me the option to like play them all at at a yeah. certain time in the stream. Like again, like a bathroom break or something. And then if it plays, I'm not missing anything. You don't have ad blocker on? I have ad block on, I still get Twitch ads. <laughs> yeah, so Twitch is actually, it's pretty like pre-baked in and Twitch actually doesn't let you use ad blocker. It has a thing where it it will eventually at some point realize that you're using an ad blocker and then it will stop you from doing the stream. Yeah. I know this, but it has happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> You are not immune to ads on Twitch. <laughs> yeah, similar to like how YouTube is also like cracking down on ad blockers. Mm-hmm. Um, like it's basically like the same thing, but Twitch is doing that first. Yeah. They got that ad blocker how blocker. Ad <laughs> called once YouTube started cracking down on ad blockers. Yeah, like I really don't mind an ad as long as I can skip it. Yeah. Gosh, I hate fucking like like Hulu and shit like that. Like, why does my Hulu have ads? <laughs> why does my Amazon Prime that I pay for have ads? <laughs> what are the worst? I remember we were watching fucking Has Been Hotel and I had to, I had to like scrub through the video to play the ads first and then <laughs> trick it into thinking we have to need ads. It was rough. <laughs> Would you like to read this? Yeah, I can read it. (laughs) You are truly so kind. It's been so long since I've been outside that cell. I never expected for you to help someone as shameful as me. I wish to spend my last moments where my children are buried. Here we are. 
a lake? This lake is where many of your children sleep. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Sounds like oh. murder. Oh. Um. I think that this is a good stopping point for today. Okay, it sounds good. Yeah, because we've been nearly going for like four hours. Has it been? I'm supposed to be talking too much. <laughs> we've been talking too much. We we haven't even finished the second chapter. <laughs> it's fine. Like I said, the first chapter is the shortest. The second is pretty long, and the third yeah. is probably like is meaty too. Yeah. Vod gang. <laughs> Vod gang. Vod gang. Ugh. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna have a really long stream tomorrow too. I'm probably gonna go for like four to six hours playing Umi Neko because I read it so much. Yeah, yeah. That's also the thing though too is like when you like stop to like read dialogue and stuff, it also eats up time. Yeah, I've got two streams That's tomorrow. Nice. That and the content warning one, right? Yeah, it's Umi Neko and then content warning. So it's like a whole day of stream, 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 yeah, stream. So you're stream. basically just gonna play Umi Neko and then seamlessly transition into Umi into content warning. <laughs> Well, I think I'll have like a three hour or four hour period in between so I can just like maybe lay down or like eat something and then go straight into content warning, you know? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That'll be good. That'll be good. That'll be fun. I hope yeah. you have fun playing Umi Neko. It looks really Thank cool. Thank you. I love Umi Neko so much. I love it so much. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I know. It's one of your favorites. It's your favorite so game happy. and what's her face is your favorite. I forget her name. Erica. <laughs> the crazy one. Yeah, the crazy one. <laughs> Erika Fudo. The intellectual okay. rapist. <laughs> stream hard, stream well, so real, so true. So true. Be sure to take a break. I will. I'll probably like make lunch after my Umineko stream is over and then like lay down in bed and rot until my next stream. <laughs> so real. Feel that. Well, I hope everybody's liking this game so far. Again, it's one of my personal favorites, so. It's nice so far. It's really, really pretty. Like it's really, yeah, really it's really pretty. pretty. It's definitely like a slow burn. Mm hmm. How many chapters are there? Three. Oh, so just three. Yeah, it's just the three. Gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah. So the middle chapter that we're on now, um, probably won't take you as long as it took me, but that's because I did side quests. So, oh. but if you're just doing like story stuff, it shouldn't take you very long. Okay. Probably another hour. I'm pr probably a straight shooter. Like I feel like <laughs> I feel like I go like straight through it because I'm not a super yeah, big side yeah, quest yeah. person. Speaking of side quests, I was playing Yakuza the other day, and <laughs> I did a side quest where this guy is like standing out this establishment and he's holding on a baby formula and he's talking about like his relationship problems with his wife. And uh -huh. then he hears like a baby crying from the building and he was like, oh my God, someone's giving birth in there. You've got to go get hot water. So you have to go to cafe, get hot water, bring it to him, discuss his marital problems again. You break into the establishment and it was not an actual baby crying. It was a fetish. Is it the, is it the men? Is it the baby men? Yes. It was like the fetish establishment. <laughs> I was like, ah, <laughs> ah, and I drank baby formula with them and I beat them up and it was a nice time. That's amazing. I was gonna, I was gonna see. I was like, she's going on a tangent about yakuza and babies. I was like, is it going to be the thing where you go in and it's a bunch of grown ass men in diapers and you beat the shit out of them? <laughs> yakuza is great. Yakuza is amazing. Oh my god! Can't wait to drive in that diaper mod to kill him. <laughs> Mr. Electric, kill him. <laughs> Is your electric sent him to hell? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna go check what the dogs are barking at. Hold on. Okay. One sec. There they go off. They probably saw something. I just see that was again. <laughs> Hilarious. I wonder what they're barking at. So the little guys. I don't think there's anything out there. Maybe there's ghosts. Do you guys think Shiki's house is haunted? I feel like it should there. be haunted. Oh, okay. I'm yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Cool. 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 Does he hit Pepper again? Probably. <laughs> oh my God! Yes, so haunted. Okay. Okay. We have all agreed that your house is haunted, Shiki. What? No. It may have been the a crack. It may have been a crack house before, but it was certainly not haunted. 
I don't know about that. <laughs> like it should be haunted. <laughs> Is the ghost single? You'll have to ask them yourself. Oh, that's true. Is the ghost single? Ghost. Can you hear me? Are you single? I want you to move. Don't actually talk to it. Move, move my water. You actually have one. Move my water Hold bottle. If you are single. They are in a relationship. <laughs> are they wait, ghost? Are you into NTR? Ghost, are you into NTR? Can you move my water bottle? Oh, it's moving. <laughs> so silly. Amazing. <laughs> NTR crack ghost. <laughs> I just don't like NTR. I just think it's really funny to say all the time. Yeah. I don't like it either. It's like, yeah, yeah. It's always funny to be like, it's so NTR. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Right. <laughs> right. Like I said, there's like, right, right. Who likes NTR? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Will you go out with me? Breathe if yes. Recite the Bible in Latin if no. <laughs> My goodness. Think about one where it's like Sonic and Shadow, but but it's like recite the Bible in Japanese and, it's like <laughs> the Bible and not breathing. And it's so funny. I think I've seen that before. I hear no reciting. <laughs> My God. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. <laughs> that's so funny. I need to I need to find that clip so I can just play it automatically if someone ever asks me that. <laughs> what is the weather like? Let's see. My undisclosed location weather. <laughs> it is 77 degrees. Oh, nice. So it's not too hot. And the humidity is, is it cloudy at all, or is it bright and sunny? Yeah, it's a it's a little cloudy out right now. Oh, it is here too, actually. Yeah. Not too bad though. Probably good for a walk if I really wanted to go outside, but I don't. It's gonna be like eighty five degrees tomorrow. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hotter. Yeah. <laughs> Summer is coming. Not looking forward to that. It's tornado season. Ooh, not looking forward to that. I. <laughs> Can't wait for all them hurricanes and them and them tornadoes and them twisters. Mmm, I love the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you say that, but it snowed here yesterday. That's ugly. What? Global, but global warming isn't real. <laughs> yeah, global war, glo globy, global war, global. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. say it. <laughs> It's okay. But yeah, I love I love people being global warmer uh, <laughs> deniers and then <laughs> uh, global warmers are real look at the snowfall. <laughs> it's like an episode of The Simpsons where like Homer says that to Lisa. He's like, Where's your global warming now? And she's like, Dad, actually. <laughs> like it's global warming isn't just about the warming of the earth, it's about the the <laughs> the stuff like oh like because it's warmer it also gets colder and it's also cold out of season and stuff like that and he was like what well, whatever <laughs> whatever see she can't say it it's not even a real word <laughs> she's having a stroke again oh no we gotta go back to the ER she's just, she's just a little doggo what do you want from her I'm just a little guy she's already playing video games for you you want her <laughs> to also know about the political social political climate <laughs> <laughs> That's not what we're here for. We're here to watch cute anime girls bounce around. Yeah, exactly. Look at me bounce. <laughs> here, I can get exactly. I can get bigger. I can bounce. <laughs> I'm in the way! Down in front! Down in front? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Thanks, Obama. 
<laughs> Thanks, Obama. Hilarious. Hi, chat will chat wait rewind. <laughs> Did you ever fix your physics? Was there something wrong with your physics before? Um what do you mean my physics? I don't know, someone someone in your chat was like, oh, did you ever fix your physics? I'm not sure what they mean. Do you, do you mean like when I... Oh yeah, I did turn them up yesterday. I turned my physics to 100. Just to see oh, what would I, happen. Fucking, when VTubers do that, it's so fucking funny. Because their shit just goes everywhere. It does. It's like bouncing constantly. And not even like a smooth bounce. It's just like... Ooh, I want to do something real quick. I want to mess with my model. I'm going to go off screen for a second while I mess with it. Hold okay. On. She's gone. I'm going to mess with this for a second. <laughs> She's gone forever now. I'm gone. For... Like a rubber band. Hilarious. I like the VTube studio has been adding like cool updates for VTubers and stuff. Like the, like the, the fucking, uh, lighting stuff, rim lighting, things like that. Yeah. Where is the where's the fish islands? The what? <laughs> the who? Biblically accurate VTuber mode? I actually think they took that away. If I remember correctly. Oh, the ring camera lens. Where like it, lo it looks like you're looking through like the ring of like someone's home security. Yeah, <laughs> that's such a funny, such a funny thing. <laughs> it's like <laughs> top, top ten, fifteen scariest home security footage. <laughs> that's really funny. I remember that. <laughs> You good? Look at my look at my look at my stream. <laughs> I know I see it. I see it. That's why I started laughing because I see it. <laughs> this is what happens when you flush Shiki down the toilet. This is a fact an effect of global warming. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> global warming. <laughs> Biblically accurate. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's so funny. Is it part of the BTS filter or? It's one of the effects on VTube Studio, yeah. Oh, okay, how funny. Let's mess with it. I'm curious. Do you have. um? Okay, no, you don't. I see it. What I was gonna ask you is to like, cause you know how like when you're doing that, like your stuff shows up. Yeah, I think you have there's to use a plugin or something. Yeah, yeah, there's a plugin. It's super easy to get. I can help you install it if you need me to. Thank you. It's yeah, yeah. It's super easy, and that way you can, don't have to worry about about that. Foggy window. The forest oh. of drizzling rain. <laughs> <laughs> just, just have this on the entire time. In the arms, arms of, of the angels. angels. <laughs> <laughs> if you're cold, they're cold. Let them inside. <laughs> so true. That's so funny. Fucking foggy window. I would love for someone to do like a funny ASMR video with like this this thing <laughs> we're just like knocking on someone's thing you're like hey let me hey in. hey let me in hey <laughs> every time i think of like funny videos that are like that i think of that one with kermit the frog and elmo <laughs> where like elmo's trying to get inside no no yeah. <laughs> elmo doesn't have, elmo doesn't have it's like trying to get in through the hole in the fucking door <laughs> oh my goodness and then kermit's back there no, and then it's Kermit trying to get it, and then Elmo's back there with, like, the Glock. Mm. Oh my god! <laughs> get it. It's, like, one of my favorite videos. Oh, okay. Well, it it's is probably now. It's probably kind of old, but it's, but it's so good. I will look it up. I think it's time to probably end, so I'm gonna do a quick super reading, and then we'll raid into someone. So... Okay, okay. <clears throat> Let me well, go. Well, thank you for having me. Of course! I'll have to bring you back to finish the game soon. 
Yeah, yeah. I, like, again, it might take you, like, two more streams, if that. But it'll really yeah. just depend on how fast we just move on through everything. Yeah, because we, we spent, nice like... Nice to meet you, Corbin. Nice to meet you guys all. Finally, I have always been watching you from the shadows. Yes. <laughs> it also may take us a while, because we be yapping. We yap through a majority of this. <laughs> we love yapping. I love talking. <laughs> <laughs> talking is great. Talking but yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you yeah. for playing this game that I like. <laughs> of course. Thank you for drawing my thumbnail and for peer pressuring me to try it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. I will peer pressure you to play other games I like too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you. I'll let you guys have your alone time. All right. Thank <laughs> you for coming. For thank bye you. Bye bye. There they go. There they go. They have been my friend for so long. They they we collabed on my emotes together. It was really very nice. <laughs> yeah. There they are. Shiki is the mayor of the capital city of Japan, Tokyo. <laughs> I like Corbin, yes. Corbin is a very good friend of mine. They, besides uh, collabing on my emotes together with them, we also collabed on my new outfit lore video together. <laughs> also, one of my favorite. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call them out. They say I'm not allowed to do fast streams, but. They've drawn porn of me. <laughs> it's okay though. It's okay though. It's for it's for their Patreon, which I will not share. <laughs> it's for their Patreon that I will not share. <laughs> they're typing. To, they're typing to me, and Discord is saying, "Wow, exposing me." So. So I've seen many a porn that has never been shown to the public before. <laughs> I can't believe you tell us that and not share. <laughs> yeah, a little tease. <laughs> many a porn is a wild sentence. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> uh, it's really good though. It's really good. Oh no, they're typing still. <laughs> I still gotta do something of the swimsuit. You do! You do. <laughs> I am a sadist, truly. It'll be like trying to reinterpret the Mona Lisa. <laughs> it's so funny. It's so, so, so funny. <laughs> Corbin cooks. Corbin does cook. <laughs> oh, pride. I would be so honored. <laughs> I love Corbin. My good, good friend. Hopefully in the future, we'll get to work on more emotes together. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, they've drawn like a few other artworks of me that I've posted before. Like they've drawn... They've drawn some cute little pieces that I posted on like YouTube community. You may remember like another piece where I'm like holding a knife to my face and it has like the Danganronpa blood. That was another... That was another uh, Corbin artwork as well. It's very, very cute. All right, let me do a quick super reading. And then I'm going to raid probably into Miss Sheena from Face Connect. All right. Uh, Anarchio, thank you so much for joining KibbleBits. Enjoy literally everything my membership has to offer. Yinwei, thank you so much for being a member for 31 months. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Ta, thank you so much for the super. BSL, thank you so much for the super. Frosty, thank you so much for joining KibbleBits. Enjoy literally everything my membership has to offer. A kinky cadaver, thank you so much for being a member for 27 months. Uh, I'm trying to do some of my bee byproducts is looking in the hell to make body butter. Ooh, with honey and wax. That's interesting. Irish, thank you so much for being a member for 26 months. Thank you, thank you. Umaru, thank you so, so much for gifting 10 memberships. That better not be ARS unless you're actually from Argentina. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Tom, thank you so much for gifting 10 memberships. Me and the community really appreciate the gift of memberships, you guys. Thank you, thank you. A kinky cadaver, thank you so much for the super. And smokin', thank you so much for being a member for four months. Four months, she, four, shiki, yeah. Four is a really unlucky number. <laughs> Because it means death. 
Woo! All right, guys. Thank you so, so much for coming out to today's stream. I had many much fun. We are gonna have to complete this game with Corbin another day. But for now, I'm gonna go off for now and start my dinner prep tonight. I am making some chicken tenderloins. They've been marinating in Italian dressing all night. And I'm gonna also make some... I'm gonna roast some potatoes with a lot of spices. And I'm gonna steam some broccoli and drink some apple juice. It's gonna be a nice little dinner. Alright, thank you so, so much for coming out. I love you guys. It was many much fun. Thank you for being so kind to a longtime friend of mine and also your emote artist. I will see you all tomorrow for a two for stream. We're doing two streams tomorrow. We're doing Umineko in the morning. That's gonna be a long stream for sure. And then in the evening, we're gonna be playing Content Warning with Emma, Nia, and Yuna! It's gonna be a fun time. Thank you guys so, so much for coming out. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. For now, oh yeah, she Bye bye. Bye bye.